Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys. Welcome back to the stream, and welcome back to yet another Friday. It is so awesome to see you guys out here today, and I could not be more excited to jump into everything that we're going to be covering today, including the update to the PTS that dropped recently, as well as a bunch of new console mods that we will, of course, have other coverage on coming very, very soon. But it is always awesome to see you guys out there in the early squad. Out there in the chat, we got Ghost Rider, we got Tracy, we got Drew, we got Joshua, we got, let's see, who else? We got Luke and Petty and Case. And Snowrunner Addict and Game Hacks, and we got Diesel added out there in the moderator squad. We got Casey and, and let's see who else. We got Porter, we got Danny, we got Whoa! Mika dropping that five euro super chat. Poggers, all right. <laughs> All right, buddy, what is going on? We got Jesse out there in the chat. We got update on the PTS. Why, yes, it is. Uh, it got updated, I believe it was like yesterday or day before yesterday or something like that. But with that being said, I also have a bunch of... Hey, what's up, Lift Trucks Rule? I see you out there. Tanisha Lee, I see you as well. And Evan, and let's see, who else? Who else? We got Tal out there in the chat. We got Gav out there in the chat. We got Brick by Brick Studios. We got David and Lauren Foster and C. Williams and Bradley and Jared Bott and Josh's Adventures and Oscar and Richard. What is going on? All of you guys just got the notification. Heck. Yeah, my dude. All right. So with those of you that are dropping in super, super early, of course, there's going to be a ton more times that I will show this. But um, to kick everything off for the day, these are going to be your new console mods as of today. So you've got the Twice Twin Steer is back. you got the Dearborn Roswell Off-Road, which is basically a Ford Probe. You also have, very excitingly, the Kaizen World Roamer, which I believe is like a 79 series cruiser, which is really, really cool. Um, you guys that like the, uh, that like the Aussie wheeling rigs are going to really enjoy that one. And of course, everything else that got updated recently, the Max Truck Pack is back, and the Meteor region is also a brand new um, map slash region that just dropped so lots of cool stuff going on in the console mods front but with that being said now we are also going to take the time to go ahead and drop into the campaign once again and check out let's see look in the background there is nothing there what do you mean bruh Oh my god. He is like Oscar was going on about the, like the uh the menu screen last time too. He was freaking out about the menu screen last time too. And he's like, look in the background, there's nothing there. And I'm like, boy, let's see. Gaming with Austin, what's up that, uh, out there in the chat? We got Satanic Mechanic out there in the chat. Gaming with Austin and Gavin and let's see, uh Fernie out there in the chat. We got Savage Jake 121. We got Travis and Oliver and LP Missy Productions and Gavin and well, actually two different Gavins. Danny Wright, what's up, buddy? And Devin Smith, what is going on, my dude? And let's see, is the 69 Dodge Charger for consoles. Honestly, we don't know. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But let's see. Map runner said one of the new maps has a suspension upgrade for the long boy Azov. Can you check it out? Hey, if we make it out there, yeah, for sure. We're going to be doing a bunch of really tricky tasks today. We got Cooper and Oliver and Austin out there in the chat. What is going on, my dudes? We got Mark Plays. We got Torin Kelly dropping a $2 super chat. Hey, man, hope you're having an amazing day. Hope you are as well, Torin. I genuinely appreciate your super chat and your support, of course. Do we dare risk multiplayer? I mean, I guess we could. But let's see. With all that being said, it is time to go ahead and jump in here today and of course if you guys uh, are new here or you're just dropping in and you haven't seen that console mods list yet by the way thank you all so much for over 200 people out here in the stream already that is incredible you guys oh my god dude we're about to blow through the first 100 likes on the stream dude that's amazing let's see how come console mods on xbox one s don't work uh they should work i mean you might have a little bit of a more uh strict ram limit but they still should work also, guys, if you are just joining us today and you did not see, these are the new console mods as of today. These are all of the mods that are uh, newly released on consoles as of today. The Dearborn Roswell is definitely a weird and quirky vehicle that I definitely recommend you check out. And I also recommend checking out the Kaizen World Roamer. It's a 79 series cruiser, I believe. And once again, we're going to go ahead and drop in to our Phase 4 playthrough. But also, before we do that, these are some new mods on PC that you guys are going to go ahead and get a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a sneak peek of Cosmodrome is available. Boy, that's wild. Medium, medium rare. Ah, uh, about, um, the medium. Yeah, steak wise, that's, yeah, medium for me. But let's see. We're doing a video covering Red's Rocket. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that's actually already filmed and on the way. This thing as well, the duck, really, really cool. It's literally a amphibious vehicle based on, like, literally, you know, a drivable, um, basically a drivable boat based on a 6x6 GMC. There's all sorts of cool stuff going on. Hey, get him with Austin repping out there in the chat. What's going on? Dare you to try the off-road trailers? Ah, oh, maybe a little bit later on in the stream. We'll have to see. The ZIKZ is on Cosmodrome as well as a new engine. Whoa, Oscar Swimmer, that's freaking amazing. We have got to check that out. Oh, really, Matthew Stevens? That's really cool. I'm doing really well, Vince Wolf Official. How about you, man? 
All right, so let's load up into our phase four playthrough. We've got a lot to do today, and I have both, let's see, I have water here and I have coffee here. So I am all prepped to go in terms of stream hydration. Now, what's up, Tango YT with that $1 super chat? Thank you so much for your support. Also, thank you guys so much for blowing through that first 100 likes on the stream. Oh, man. Yes, always good to have some stream hydration. Always, always, always freaking good. So also, we seem to be having a bit of an issue where our uh, our IX Wrecker... Well, we actually had to sell our IX Wrecker. And the reason why we had to sell it was because it was basically... Well, not really working very well. And uh, it kept, like, despawning. Johnny Edwards, what's going on out there? Stephanie, I see you out there in the chat. Hunter, uh, Nate, what is going on, my dude? Doing really well, James. How about you? And, oh, they have, Snowrunner God, that's what I'm saying. Um, we got Oliver and Khalil out there in the chat. What is going on? And, let's see. Stay one, two tires apart. What? I was going to say, what? Where's Jeep Guy? Uh, Jeep Guy is at work right now. Yep. Dude, we're about to blow through our first 300 people out here on the stream. Thank you guys so much. I genuinely appreciate that, you guys. So, the boar... Oh, I forgot we had two... Um, IX quad steers. That's kind of crazy. But the boar is actually going to be really, really good for... Oh, no. Emmanuel, I saw the DM. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Holy cow. Oh, my gosh. That's wild. I hope he's okay. Yeah, dude. I hope he's okay. What's up, Riley? I see you out there in the chat. And Katie, is the Tacoma a good mod? Oh, absolutely. Um, Demi Colon, I just didn't see you say hi before. But um, let's go ahead and drop in on the truck store and maybe possibly pick something up real quick. So, the Con Sentinel is unfortunately not textured quite yet. But, let's see. Explore world, explore world, explore world. Where is the... Aha! There it is! ZIKZ605R. So, also... So, we still need to deliver that equipment trailer to the Cosmodrome. But, my issue is I still don't think that the equipment trailer, uh, like, registers. You know what I'm saying? But, let's see. Here's a thought. The Unipog? Oh, that's definitely gonna be a great one. Brett and Tyler, what's going on, you guys? Oh, you're normal, dude. What's going on, buddy? By the way, guys, thank you so much for over 300 people out here on the stream. That's freaking amazing. We also need to sell that, um, that one trailer right over there. Let me get my boar into position. The boar actually is a really good choice for this, uh, for this environment, I think. But, yeah, I might actually grab, uh, the Unipog in just a bit. Can you imagine running around in freaking Unimogs out here on this map? Rex Gamer, what's up, buddy? Alright, so, attached trailer. And I'm gonna sell this guy. Just gotta back it up into the truck store. Get it sold. These articulating front-end trailers are so finicky to back up. Like, I don't like the first gen here. Um, the first gen is not here yet, but hopefully really, really soon. They were talking about how it is in line for testing, though, okay? So, also, like I said before, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure you guys are aware of the console mods that dropped today. This is going to be your updated console mod list as of today, and, um, it, they're working on a new suspension option. We definitely need to check it out. But, once again, this is going to be your updated console mods list as of today. I definitely recommend you check out the Kaizen World Roamer. That thing is really, really cool, as well as the Dearborn Roswell Off-Road, which is basically a Ford Probe. Again, really, really cool stuff. But, dude, we're about to... Oh my god, we're creeping up on 400 people out here on the stream. That's freaking awesome, dude. And let's see, Stuart Morris with the $2 Australian Super Chat. Uh, TC, can you play a song on the guitar, please? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe in a different stream or video, but I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. It's something I do, like, between streams and stuff, like, just to relax. Do you beans? Well, beans is not exactly a... Dude, oh my god. Can you imagine if someone made, like, a giant drivable version of beans with wheels? Good god. So if I go through, right, if I go through the trailer store, the equipment trailer is not a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a maintenance, there's a service, but that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why I never use those trailers and or uh, why turn them. Yeah. What's up, Oliver, out there in the chat? I see you. The second chat doesn't work with any other mods on my Xbox except the trailers. I get that, though. I mean, they tried to optimize it a little bit. But, let's see, are snow tires a must for this map? Absolutely, Seth Mountain Bikes. 100% they are a necessity, at least in my personal opinion. So, I am going to do a little bit of quick completion. And I, I really don't know if we can, like... I, I just want to kind of knock out a couple of these bridges. Because the bridges and the landslides are definitely going to be something that is going to need to be on our list. So, bridge to the warehouse and also... Let me see if I check in on the steel mill. 
Um, we've only got one set of metal rolls there, and we may or may not have lost the beams that we had. So also, warehouse trouble, hmm. So I can just grab some metal beams there, and then bridge to the warehouse requires... Let me just make sure I know what it requires. And then bridge to the warehouse, two metal beams, and two uh, service spare parts, which I can get just right from the... Uh, right from the warehouse itself. Okay, so that's not too bad. Bradley, what's going on? And by the way, we just blew through 350 people out here on the stream already. That is wild, you guys. Freaking amazing. All right, so I'm gonna stop this guy's engine, turn his handbrake on, and I want a greater variety of trucks that we're using for this, okay? So we're gonna actually go back to the main menu real quick, and I want to make sure, I wanna make sure that we've got a good variety of objective-based usable rigs before we head back out. So, one of the ones that I know I want to use is the Unipog, because I, I love the app, I love the Unipog. It's, it's challenging, it's usable, but it's also useful, you know? It's not underwhelming in terms of its capability. And let's also see, before we head back out into the wilderness, let's see if we can actually grab something that I know is going to help us, but it's also not super over the top. You know what I'm saying? Try MP. Maybe we could definitely try it. Yeah, we could definitely try it, bro. I just want to make sure I... Ooh, co-op special edition. Yo, hello, 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 with the 100 NLK Super Chat. Hey, how are you doing? New vlog on the S2K soon? Um, yes, actually. New vlog on the S2K coming very soon, as well as a vlog in the BRZ. So, let's see. The rocket question mark? I mean, hey, what's up? Uh, Fortifying, I see you out there. I see you out there in the chat, my dude. So I'm going to, let's see. Let's just make sure we grab the, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. What is the best option for us right now? There's a lot of different options, but which one is the best for us at the moment? I think the best one for us is actually going to be to attempt to get Diesel Addict into a campaign with us, and then, dude, we can knock that stuff out. And so we're gonna try and bring the Unipog in with us, and we're also gonna try and bring the, I've already got the IX um, Quad Steer, and I also have Red's first gen, I think. Where is, well, Red's first gen is in here somewhere. Yeah, I have it on, and then I also have the IX Quad Steer Revival on. So, with all of those being on, which they are all very, very, very good trucks. Uh, what's up, Garrett? Hey, no worries at all. Uh, what guitars do you have uh, behind you currently? Uh, one is just a, um, it's a Squire Acoustic, like a Fender Squire Acoustic, and the other one is a Dean Razorback V. So, I'm gonna grab one more mod and enable it real quick. Um, I only know how to go sideways. This is correct, Mika. This is correct. But, what's up, Rory? I see you out there in the chat. What's good, uh, Mariano? I see you out there in the chat as well, my dude. So, I'm gonna grab one more... Ooh, the P16 Beluga. That would be really sick. But I kind of want something that's a little bit more geared towards the environment that we're in. You know what I'm saying? Which would mean... Would mean that I would want something along the lines of, like, an 8x8. I just... Oh, man. Like, 8 by 8 ish You know what I'm saying? Lawrence, what's going on? I see you out there in the chat. Phase 4? You better believe it's Phase 4. Yeah, you better believe it's Phase 4, my dude. So, one more little look through. It has definitely got me thinking that... You know what? I might actually run that MAZ off-road pack. Diesel, do you have the MAZ off-road pack? So, by the way, also, guys, oh my god, we're about to blow through 200 likes on the stream, and we're also about to blow through 400 people out here on the stream. That's wild. So, by the way, if you were just joining us today, this is going to be your updated list of console mods as of today. So... For example, the Kaizen World Roamer, you should definitely check that out. Bradley McDonald dropping the 99 Cent Canadian Super Chat, thank you so much. We also got the Dearborn Roswell Off-Road, which dropped in as well, as well as a Trucks Max Pack for consoles. Aspen Hills, Weather Station 34, and Meteor Region, those are all awesome maps that you should absolutely check out. Diesel is having a call, by the way. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. Silas and Noah, what's going on, you guys? I see you out there in the chat. But once again, this is going to be your updated console mods list as of today. So I'm actually going to head back into my Phase 4 playthrough now. And we're going to try and build some bridges, just kind of get the game kicked off with some easy, simple tasks, knock them right out of the gate. And 
I'm thinking that once we get these bridges built, it'll be a heck of a lot better to just get everything moved around. And let's see, twin steers, six by six, side by side, when? What? I don't understand, bro. I don't understand what you're talking about, my dude. So I know we've got a heap of work right there, and that's literally the name of the task, a heap of work. But I'm going to try and get those, those bridges knocked out real quick. And then if I can get those bridges knocked out, then we'll be set up a whole lot better for A, whenever Diesel can get in here at Press Gaming Channel. What's going on out there in the chat, my dude? But we'll be able to get ourselves set up a lot better for A, when Diesel comes back, and B, just general hauling around the map. So you guys know, you guys know this route now. It's the route of getting the quad steer over the ice and then driving it up to the... Yo, what's up, and our cousins and Bo 12 Bow? I see you out there in the chat. And I... S Dude, let's see. Because the IX twin steer wasn't enough, that had to exist. Oh, jeez. Well, to be fair, it works. And it works very well. By the way, guys, thank you so much once again. Blowing through that 200 likes mark in the chat. Dude, that... Or on the stream. That's amazing. Thank you guys so much. So once we get this thing down to the warehouse, we're going to go ahead and, like I said, uh, get those bridges built. And we're going to transport so many metal rolls up to the, um, up to the kind of like just metal crafting site. We're going to transport so many that there will not be a shortage of metal beams at all. And instead of going to the left like I normally do, I'm going to go to the right because I think I've found a better way. And, uh, let's see. We got Mason out there in the chat. We got Iron Man Jake out there in the chat. What is going on, my dude? Are we going to see the Yeet star? Uh, maybe. Depends on how Yeety we get. And, let's see. Is there a date for Phase 4 to release? Not yet, but hopefully we'll see one soon. Whoa, dude! Dude, oh my god, over 40 people out here on the stream. Thank you guys so much. If you are just joining us today, 100% massive thanks for you joining us, as well as, if you are just joining us, the console mod list as of today is as follows. And the ones on the top are the newest ones as of today. We got Nova and Matthew and Nick and Rivero out there in the chat, and Douglas Taylor, or sorry, Raybo, not Rivero, Raybo. And I definitely recommend checking out that Kaizen World Roamer, as well as the Dearborn Roswell Off-Road. Those are both great, as well as the new maps for the day so let's go ahead and get this thing ready to head to the warehouse and when we're heading to the warehouse i think oh you sold the m2 a month ago oh i didn't even realize you sold the m2 yeah i didn't even realize you sold the m2 i'm sorry bro i didn't i, I know i asked you about it earlier but i was like i figured that um when do you think phase four will release uh maybe about a month or so like a few weeks to a month that's kind of what i would expect all right, so let's get this guy loaded up. And now, we are on our way. Wasn't that easy? Wasn't that simple? <laughs> Tango YT, I know, right? It's freaking legit. Freaking legit. And let's go ahead and now just get it going back the other way. And we will be on our way to the metal construction site. Now, I know that the heap of work task, or really the heap of work contract, is what is um, looking basically it's, it's what we're looking for right now but it's what we're tracking right now but it's not necessarily uh what we are mainly focused on right now so right now what we're focused on is also bridge to the sawmill i believe also needs um let's see yeah metal beams and you know service spare parts once again so let's see oh that's awesome what's up farming i see you out there in the chat and wait Oscar Swinburne stream oh steam steam stream either way um there's been a lot of talks lately about whether or not SnowRunner will come to steam and honestly like I wouldn't be opposed to it but at the same time I know that a lot of people like when the game first came out were really upset that it wasn't on steam and while I can understand that like at the same time I'm I don't find myself being you know disappointed that it's on epic you know what I mean like I love steam don't get me wrong but I definitely think that they've done some things over time to make Epic better. And granted, like, I just love the game, so I'll go to whichever service I need to go to to play it. So, and whether or not that's a good thing, I, like, that's, whether or not that's, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I definitely think that, you know, it's not like, it's not like Epic is a bad platform. I do think Steam has some, uh, some better social, um, social stuff, but I said this is a live stream. Oh, 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 yes. We'll try it ready for phase four. Right, Alex the Racer. Phase four is going to be sick. Absolutely. What are you driving? Uh, right now, the IX quad steer, and we're on our way 
to craft some metal beams so we can get some bridges built, and then that way it'll be a lot easier for us to get our cargo across this map. Bradley McDonald once again dropping that 279 Canadian Super Chat. Can you play? Uh, can I play with you in a phase three in Wisconsin? Um, well, currently we don't really do any open lobbies on SnowRunner because it's a little bit tricky within this game's lobby system. But if I ever do those in the future, there will absolutely be a um, an announcement about that. Now, I do have to be careful not to turn my truck over, nor dump my cargo. But let's see. Whoop. Now, I think I'm going in the right direction. Yes. Ish. Yes, ish. Right direction, itch. That's wild, Mika. That's insanity. Just like that power number? Jeez. Also, I don't fit on this bridge. I just don't fit. Like, I, I, I literally straight up don't fit. That bridge saw me and said, nah, fam, that, yeesh. that, uh, that, that thick boy is too thick. Hold on. We need to make, uh, oh God. This bridge is gonna be my downfall. Am I going to be okay? Yes! Thanks to that witch point, I'm okay! Oh my god, I'm so excited. That Maverick with the howdy. What's up, bud? Oh boy. All right, there we go. All right, let's head for the metal crafting site real quick. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go, like, cross-country skiing in this truck at this point. Is the rocket textured yet? So the rocket parts are textured, the rocket is not. And I'll show the textured um, the textured rocket parts in a little while. Now, due to this thing's immense traction, muddy ice is not a problem for it. But I do remember you, Beans on Dash. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, no, this is not the normal twin steer, Amelian. This is the IX quad steer. We also have to make it to the top of that hill somehow. And honestly, I'm probably going to use a slightly different method, which I was using a, I was using the method of just going straight up the, uh, the woods the last time. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the other side and drive up the mountain instead. Let's see, Ryaki HD, what's going on out there, buddy? I see you. And Tarek, I see you out there in the chat as well. Yee Yee Gamers, what's going on, my dude? All right, I'm going to pop it up over this little snow drift. And then really all I want to do is I want to be able to figure out uh, what are the new mods? Oh, I'll show you in just a second again. Um, let me go ahead and climb up these rocks real quick. And then once I have done a nice... Oh, God. Woo, I almost lost it right there. But once I've done a nice speedy little climb, I can go ahead and show you that the new mods available on consoles as of today... What's up, Rebecca and Matthew? I see you guys out there. <laughs> Boop. Exactly. Axel Gaming, we need to Tomcat Discord. Boy, that exists, though. That is a thing. And also, um, our moderators can drop a link to that out there in the chat for you. But with that being said, these are all of the new console mods available as of today. The Dearborn Roswell, the Kaizen World Roamer, the Meteor Region, the Weather Station. Those are all maps and vehicles that I highly recommend checking out. So let's go ahead and get back into our mission at hand now. And is this going to be a video? Uh, well, it all depends on if something crazy happens or not, right? And by the way, guys, thank you so much for over 40 people out here in the stream. I genuinely appreciate it. We're also about to blow through 300 likes on the stream. That is freaking wild, you guys. It's definitely a little bit less wooded over here, so I'm trying to find a spot where we can make it up to... You know what? It's probably... The, the Probably the best idea is to just actually take the road. You know what I mean? Nova, what's up, buddy? Is that a friend? I see you out there. And Axel Gaming, once again, one of our moderators can throw it out there in the chat. Apparently, Diesel Addict had to take a quick break for some reason, but it's okay. Um, we're not worried about that, but uh, Mika may be able to go ahead and drop a uh, link for you out there in the chat real quick. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, that's all... That's all blocked, so we're actually going to use the road properly for this uh, for this task. Gavin, thank you so much for subscribing. Use the TC convertible. Oh, you mean the Yeet Mobile? Yikes. Hey, Lou, what's up, Aiden? I see you out there. What is going on in the chat? All right, sounds good, Mika. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my dude. Yo, hey, undiscovered task. Look at this. Look at this little farm that's been snowed in. These new Phase 4 maps, by the way, guys, are so freaking beautiful. They're so pretty. And let's see. Can't wait to see... Uh, boy, sorry. Can't wait to use the WJ later today. Oh, dude, Zay, it's such a great Jeep. It is such a freaking great Jeep. Now that we're making our way up this hill, 
we'll be able to go ahead and get all of these metal rolls converted into um, metal beams very, very quickly. What's up, Ghost Rider 56? I'll see you out there in the chat. What's up, Keon Todd? What's going on? All right, making my way to that there crafting facility. I got beans on the dash. That's where all my extra power's coming from today, isn't it, beans? He says yes. <laughs> oh my God, what's up, Ruben? I see you out there in the chat. Thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi. And let's see, do you have a new moderator? Actually, Mika is an OG moderator way back from the Mixer days, bud. Now, let's see. Did you get that trailer that wasn't in the game yet from the last live stream? So, that trailer, I can't seem to figure out what the deal is with it yet. Like, it's very strange. But let's go ahead and open the storehouse. We're going to drop these off. And then, we're going to get some metal, uh, metal beams crafted. Three in stock. And truck... Not loading platform. I gotta make sure I don't do the loading platform this time because that's what completely ruined uh, my my run last time. Dude, Christian Chadrick, I know, right? Like, for sure. Hey, no worries, Levi Cards. No worries at all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Only the real ones remember talking about 700. I know, right? Is the quad steer worth the RAM usage? Aw, uh, heck yeah, buddy. By the way, guys, we're about to blow through 500 people out here on the stream. Thank you all so much. We're also about to blow through that 300 likes mark. Let's go ahead and... Oh, Stephen Thomas, what's going on with that 199? Hey, you. Super chat. Hey, you. What's up, bud? All right, let's go ahead and get this thing loaded up. We got our beams, and we are ready to go. This guy is gonna knock this out. What are your thoughts and opinions on the GMC Hummer EV super truck and SUV? Honestly, I think the Hummer EV uh, is really cool looking. I think it's a great idea for a project by a manufacturer. And honestly, like, you know, with all of the, uh, like, with as big of a push as there is right now to, uh, wait, hold on. What do I need to do in order to clear that landslide, by the way? Landslide near the quarry. Uh, no metal beams. Yeah, no, that's, that's not a metal beam contract at all. But, or task, really. But with all these moves to EVs, and I'm doing really well at Western Farms. How about you? Use Formula One car. Uh, I would if this game had one, but trust me, I would. Okay, I'm gonna take the- Hey, you guys blew through that 300 likes mark on the stream. Thank you so much. By the way, for those of you that are just now joining us, thank you so much for being out here. And if you would like to know what the new console mods are as of today, this is gonna be your updated list. Dearborn Roswell Off-Road, as well as Kaizen World Roamer, as, lo as, uh, as well as some new maps. I almost said as long as some new maps, but as well as some new maps. And now we can get back to our brand new task of trying to build some of these bridges out here in the Phase 4 region. Uh, let's see. You got your beams and beans. Hey, beams and beans go well together, don't they? So we're going to actually, uh, for reliability's sake, we're going to take the road. I know that that seems very odd for me, but let's see. Team Twice Twin Steer of the House is actually not the Twice. It's the IX Quad Steer. It's similar to the Twice, but let's see. Access to location. Whoa! Factory trailer and vehicles. Access to look at. Bro, 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 bro. Uh, I don't know what access to location it is, but we need to do this. We need to do this real soon. Holy smokes. We need to do this real soon. That could give us so much new, like, so much new access that we haven't had yet. Whoa. Whoa. All right. We need, we need to do that. We need to do that, and we need to do it soon. As soon as we build one of these bridges, that needs to be, like, next on the priority list. By the way, guys, if you are trying to join the Discord, Mika just threw a couple of links out there in the chat. And, oh, Neri Original says, nice truck. Bro, thank you so much. Is Phase 4 out yet? It is out for testing on the public test server on PC, which is what we are playing right now. Can you move the face cam to straight on? Um, honestly, like, I find that with phase on, it, or sorry, with it straight on, it can be a little bit distracting to the viewing experience. So that's why I've got it off to the left. But, um, don't use that Bigfoot cobbler. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, I'll tell you what. That might be how we get access to uh, a trailer that we need. Because it says you get access to a location by doing that task. We might have just discovered something huge, you guys. We might have just discovered something amazing. What's up, Plague Edmonds? I see you out there in the chat. Big trucks for the boys. Yeah, pretty much. This thing is a beast. Yeah, no, like... Uh, Zay, I get it. Like, I get how you're frustrated about the L400. I think a lot of people are frustrated about the L400, but I think the L400 was dealing with some issues with what's called a memory leak, and it's one of those things where it's like, I don't necessarily know 
how a memory leak works. Like, I'm not, you know, um, wait, hold on, what is that task? Let's see, want to make some money, even better, give us some juicy leads, uh, get the construction materials to my brother in town, I'll make it worth your time. I eh, don't worry about it, we'll do that later. But, um, yeah, yo, Chase, with that $1.90 set super chat, thank you so much, my dude. Let's see, get real beans for his real car. Bro, I'll, I'll do it. I'll totally do it. I'll make a video of installing beans in my real car on my real dash. Don't even tempt me. You Cybertruck? Bruh, I don't know about that. Are you on PC? You bet I am right now. But all of this stuff will be coming to console as soon as Phase 4 releases. By the way, guys, we're about to blow through 500 people out here on the stream. Thank you so much for your incredible support, you guys. That is amazing. It's a failure in a program uh, to release discarded memory causing impaired performance or failure. There you go, Zay. That's exactly what... See, I don't know... Like, I know what these terms mean, but I don't know how to explain them like you do. And Mika, honestly, like, there's... You kind of can use a lot of in this game. What's crazy is... Okay, you know how... I'm going to go off on a tangent here, but you know how expensive it is to import a lot of to the U.S.? Like... Lottas that come over here are like 30 to 40 grand. It, it's it's ridiculous. And it's it's not like a Lotta is worth 30 to 40 grand. It's just kind of what happens. And I don't know why it's so expensive. It's just like one of my buddies was joking around about importing a Lotta and he like looked into it. And he was like, yeah, it's going to be like 35 grand for an imported Lotta. And I'm like, why? Is it like, is it all the rage for that? Like, I don't know if it's worth 30 to 40 grand. Like, I don't know if that makes sense to me. I, I I don't know. Now, granted, I get the, like, the uniqueness factor, but Mika says, yes, it's worth it. I mean, I guess it'd be worth it if you swap the engine. I don't really think the engine in it is all that happy of an engine, but <laughs> then again, I don't know much about Lada's, so I, I don't really, I'm not really Lada experienced, but let's see. Yeah, we'll definitely get across this, uh, we'll have to get across the water and get back up the other side. And that was a little bit tricky the last time around, but I'm trying to, um, oh, dude, I know, right? Like, Phase 4 is gonna be sick when it comes out. I mean, it is sick already, we're playing it right now. Alright, let's make our way, let's make our way downtown. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tried to make my way downtown, but I walked too fast. And I ended up in the wrong place. <laughs> And I'm not following the song anymore, but that's okay. Can I cross this? Is it worth the risk? Is it worth the send? Actually, I think I could do that. I could do that. Famous last words, but I could do that. <laughs> oh, boy. Put a Duramax diesel in a Lada. Oh, you know? Don't tempt me, Mika. I... I... I I would do it, too, is the thing. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Yo, Bradley Madonna with that 1399 Canadian Super Chat. Can't wait for Phase 4 to come out. Bro, thank you so much, man. Thank you for the support. I genuinely appreciate it, my dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, the send was worth it, bud. You did not finish saying what you thought about the Hummer EV? Oh, that's right. Um, honestly, like, internally, yeah, I'm a little bit sad about, uh, you know, about Hummer going to electric power. But at the same time, it's cool because I love all the new features it enables. You know what I mean? And granted, like, I know that there's always this big, like, debate back and forth about, like, are electric cars, like, suitable for enthusiasts and all that stuff. And honestly, you know what is one electric car that has caught my eye recently just because I think it's so cute? Some of you guys might be able to guess what it is because I said it was cute, but the Honda E. The Honda E is so freaking cute. Like, why, why is the Honda E so cute? I don't even know. Like, why the heck is the Honda E so cute? Like, have you guys seen the Honda E? And if you haven't seen, if you haven't seen the Honda E, hang on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a thing. I'm gonna do a thing. You guys, you guys, hold on. Honda E, hold on. Oh my God, my Google was like Honda Element. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Honda E, it, it's the, like, it's the cutest thing in the world. How, it, I'm trying to find a picture of it in the green. But like, it's, well, you know what? I mean, forget the green, that's fine. But, oh my God, I, I need to show you guys this thing. It's like an original Mini Cooper. Um, it's like an original Mini Cooper, but it's like, but it's like electric. And 
I don't even... The Honda E is a big car, TC. It's not that big. I mean, maybe it's big compared to an original Mini, but it's like... Oh, you mean big car in the, in, in the, in the sense of, like, a meme? Well, I mean, sure, but, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm like, why am I... Um, I, I don't know why I'm so, like, like, I'm all of a sudden wanting to show you guys this thing. But, like, look at it. Look at it. That's, like, the cutest thing. It, it, is that not the cutest thing to drive around in? Why the heck would anybody not like that? I, I don't know. Bradley McDonald, what's going on, my dude? I see you out there dropping that 699 Canadian Super Chat. I know it's, like, but it... <laughs> I know it's not something that I would normally go for, but, like, it's way cuter than it has any business being. I'm just saying. It's way cuter than it has any business being. All right. Now, back to your reg regularly scheduled snow running. So, with that being said... Yeah, I know, right, River Barzal? I know. It's <laughs> nice. But let's see. So, with that being said... Let's see. Whoa. Oh, all right. Let's make our way around this ever precarious. Uh, that's the weirdest car I have ever seen. You know, you're not wrong. It's <laughs> stop. You're making me sick. How? Turkle Lab says buy one. Dude, all right. Plot twist. Buy one and put like an LS in it. <laughs> buy one, put an LS in it and make all the electric purists angry at you. You know, honestly, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Or I could keep it in the Honda family. I could buy one and put a freaking K-Series in it. Can you imagine that thing with a K-24 with a freaking supercharger? That'd be hilariously good. The only thing is, like, as Mika said, it's not quite as small as it looks. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it weighs a lot because of the electric powertrain. And the batteries weigh a lot. And the, you know, the batteries weigh a lot. And the, like... The freaking, um, the electric motor weighs a lot. And if you buy, Maverick says, but if you buy one, I would stop watching your channel. Bro, harsh, harsh. So question, build this bridge or build that bridge? It doesn't really matter, right? I mean, I don't think it matters. I got to get the one by the warehouse built anyway. Make it float like, you mean like a Sherp? Because you said make it float like a sheep. Oh, dude, that would be a crazy sleeper. A Honda E with a Tesla engine or motor. I got to get used to saying motor because motors are electric. Motors are electric. Engines are fuel. Motors are electric. Engines are fuel. Right. So, once again, Jeremy Mitchell, what's going on out there in the chat? Tesla away at Honda E Type R. That'd be sick. You have any idea how sick that would be while they hate for the Honda E? I don't hate it. But, like... Well, Maverick, if you say if you don't like it, whoa, dude! Thank you guys so much for blowing through 500 people out here on the stream and over 350 likes, bro. You guys are freaking amazing. Okay, we need to actually. Why are we taking this here? We don't need to take this here. We need to take this to the uh, the bridge down there. Get it built, and then uh, let's see. Buy a Honda E and swap it with a V12 K701 engine. What? It won't fit. Oh my God, that would never fit. That would never work. I mean, you would need to build a separate chassis to house the engine. Is the Quad Zero on consoles? Let's let's see. There's a rendering of the Honda E Type R. I mean, it would be cool. Like, I don't know. I mean, I think. And now, I would love to hear y'all's opinion on this. I would. This is what I would love to see, right? I would love to see. I would love to see enthusiast cars and like sports cars and track cars be kept fuel powered and then make all of the city runabouts you know like electric or whatever like i feel like that's a great compromise because the people that are going to be driving around in little city runabouts are not really concerned about whether or not it's gas powered or electric powered you know what i'm saying so they're not really caring about the emotion that you have to the engine or the emotion you have to the car or the way it revs out but like for the people that enjoy it keep the sports cars gas powered Keep the track cars gas powered, but make the, um, but like make all the little city runabout hatchbacks, you know, those can be electric and that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you guys feel about that opinion? Like, I feel like it's kind of like a decent opinion that could actually kind of work. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like it could kind of work in the grand scheme of things. So let's see. Um, show task. Bruh. 
You're gonna make me drop it off on the other side? Are you Siri? Oh wait, no, okay. Are you Siri? No, Siri is on my phone. <laughs> ah, you wanna make me deliver beams to that side? Oh, you're a... I'm not gonna say that. Let's see, good, good, true, good, true. Oh, well, a lot of people seem to agree with that idea. Uh, let's see, sounds like a good compromise. I feel like it'd be the best compromise we could do, though, as enthusiasts, you know? Like, why is there no cargo drop on this side? Oh, here we go. Here we go, okay. Got that done. Metal beams going up. Hey, all right, all right. Big turbo raw fuel cloud spitting 2JZ or nothing. <laughs> I get that, though. I get that. <laughs> Drive off the bridge? No. All right. Service spare parts times two. Conquering summits. I need to try that. But let's see. Hold the X button, dude. Yeah, I figured that out the hard way. Because of Mondra 2.0, the return of the diesel addict is upon us. What's up, my dude? Oh, no. I almost rolled her over. What's new for mods? What is up, Paul? I am glad you asked. Our new console mod lineup as of today, my good sir, is as follows. We got the Dearborn Roswell Off-Road. You also absolutely should check out the Kaizen World Roamer, which is a 79 series cruiser pickup. And you've also got some new maps, some new regions, and a bunch of updated uh, truck tweaks to check out as well. And that is going to be your console mod lineup. For today so let's go ahead and be on our way now and the bridge is built but not all the way and that's okay because we can get the service spare parts right here from the warehouse by the way guys thank you so much for being about to blow through 400 likes on the stream that's amazing now let's get our service spare parts taken care of and knocked out easy 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 this will literally take two and a half freaking seconds well maybe not that short of an amount of time but Yo, Zago Brazy, that's that's insane. That's so wild. Service spare parts, boom, boom. All right, back her up and knock this one out. It's gonna be an easy one to knock out. Ain't that right, Beans? He says yes. All right, let's be on our way, boys. Let's see, Honda E is number six in world's cutest cars. I don't know of this list of world's cutest cars, but I would like to know A, who created it, and B, where it exists. Let's see, is there any Toyota Hilux in SR plus do a video? Thank you, uh, first of all, for that 299 Australian Super Chat. And um, there is a Toyota Tacoma, but not really a Hilux. Flipper Combat 500 with the 499 Super Chat. Hey, DC, how's it going? Just got my gaming PC a few days ago. Can't wait to get SnowRunner on it and use the PTS for the first time. Bro, you're going to have a blast. You're going to have a freaking blast. The IX Quad Steer, I freaking love it. Hold, next action. Cargo management. Boom. Boom! We done! Alright, bridge to the warehouse is built and fully available. Or at least it should be. Hey, there it is. There she goes. Alright, we'll be getting supplies to the region of the Jiffy now that you've connected to the warehouse. Thank you. Alright. Now, there is a there is a task about a, a bridge to the island. Oh, I had that one running too. Yeah, don't worry about that. There's so many bridge building tasks, it's freaking wild. But this barefoot cobbler. Barefoot cobbler has me intrigued because barefoot cobbler involves a freaking like trailer rescue. It's so crazy. It's so wild. And let's see, there's a car at the bottom of the ravine here. It's been a while, but it looks okay. Tow it out and we'll see what we can do with it. Boy, all right. We need to see if we can get our hands on that trailer. Because that trailer, Zamir Lewis, what's going on out there in the chat? I see you saying hi. Oh, that's awesome, Jonathan, by the way. Congrats on that. So, I need to see what that mystery trailer is. Because that mystery trailer is going to be probably the craziest thing we have found thus far. So... Y'all ready to find a, mi a mystery trailer? Do the warehouse trouble to open up the warehouse with metal beams? Boy, you are a genius. That is huge. We need to do that. We need to do that. We need to do that. Somebody said buy a second gen, and I'm like, in the game or in real life? Bro, by the way, thank you guys so much for blowing through 400 likes on the stream. I genuinely appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Oscar, look at my last comment. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. 
We've got, let's see. Oh, geez, that's a lot of scrolling. That's a lot of scrolling. Top Gear. Oh. Oh, well, all right then. I didn't realize that they had done that list. Huh. Let's see, I moved over to Tamir. Uh, Michigan was becoming boring and I'm loving the game. Yeah, no, dude. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Empower, for sure. When does Phase 4 come out on console? Well, Andrew Brown, um, we don't have a release date for it yet. The devs haven't given us one, but hopefully they'll give us one soon. All right, warehouse trouble and access to location. All right, accept track. Supplies for the warehouse. Where is it? Uh... Wait. Supplies for the warehouse. Is that another... Oh my god. Is that another trailer that doesn't exist? Oh no. Bro, is that really another trailer that doesn't exist? Ugh. And there's no locator for it. Oh no, warehouse trouble. It's over there. It just doesn't tell me. Well, that's weird. All right, well, let's go get it. Let's go get the dang thing. LOL22, what's going on out there, my dude? Let's see. Tango YT, intent your sentences. Oh, God. I don't think they added trailers on the map. Well, there's no locator for this, but I'm going to mark it on the map because Warehouse Trouble is here. So, I don't know if that's where the trailer is, but... Yeah, that's that should be the actual locator. By the way, we're about to blow through 550 people out here on the stream. Thank you guys so much. Any news on the Aftershock map? Um, so we're actually going to be releasing another video on that really, really soon. And it's like, it's super in-depth. It's like super dramatic, actually. And I really enjoyed filming the second episode. I actually had to cut some pieces of it because it was so long. Jen Favar, with that $5 super chat, watching from inside my semi. Love your content. Keep up the good work and watch them mirrors. But right, I'm going to try. Let's see. Yeah, no, I, I am going to try. By the way, thank you once again for hanging out and watching. I really appreciate it, boy. We need a beans mobile. Heck yeah, we do. All right, we're getting close. Aren't we, beans? Just blowing through that rock field. Don't worry about it. It's the IX quad steer. It's, a, it, it's no problem. It's no problem. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, that would be awesome, Paul. That would be really cool. All right, so we're going to head out through the swamp to grab this thing. God, this IX quad steer is a beast. Absolute beast. All right, so this icy swamp definitely would pose some challenges. Let's see. That was the first time I've ever done an Emmer. Um, it made bridge repairing so easy. Oh, my God. Yes, 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 yes. Dude, I didn't even realize it would give us all of that. We can knock out these bridges so freaking fast now. I am so ready for that. I am so ready for that. There's another one. Sorry, we're closed. Our supplies trailer got stuck in the marsh. So unless someone pulls it out, all I can offer is air. So... There's no locator for it. Well, all right, so we have to find it. Okay. So we have to find it. All we know is that it's in the swamp, but we have to find it. I was timed out a few minutes ago for some reason. Oof, uh, probably YouTube. Honestly, YouTube doing a weird auto timeout. It, it does that for some reason. It's like if you post, I think, two all caps messages in a row, YouTube times you out on its own. I don't know why it does it. It's not me or the moderators, but yeah, we're trying to find, let's see. Trailer is not there. It was meant to be there. Huh? What? I'm confused. I'm confused. I, I, I don't, I don't understand. Have they just not added that yet? Is that another case of like, oh, that's so weird. That's so weird. Snorter devs are so mean for that task. Dude, I'm like... I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Is this just a non-existent thing? Bruh! 
Map runner time, restart mission. Try restarting the task. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Your game is missing the trailers. Why is it missing them though? Like, Stake, why is it missing them? I verified, I re-verified my game this morning. Like, are they missing for everybody or just me? Hold on. Restart this tap. There it is! Okay, alright, so that's weird. It's there now. It's there now. I don't know how, but like... Erska River? Yes. So, we've got it. Got broken by the latest patch. Well, I'll tell you, apparently restarting out here causes it to appear. It's like, wow, okay. Yeah, no, that's weird, man. That doesn't make much sense, but okay. Oh, God. I don't know why Puppy put the trailer hitch <laughs> there. <laughs> oh, that's, um... That's a little, uh... Wacky. That's a little wacky for sure. No, I wanted the diff locker, not the freaking quick winch. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, Petty, I'm like, bruh, this is so weird. What map is this? Erska River, my dude. First map in the phase four Emmer Oblast region. Let's see. That would be messed up. They made you find the trailer. Yeah, I mean, it It works. We found it. It's just kind of um, concerning. Let's see. What's re-verify your game? Um, you basically would right-click on the game or, like, right-click on the little... Um, drop down and there's an option to re-verify your files and it just um it just can help you know make sure crashes and stuff like that maybe the new generator trailer thing oh the like what's it called maintenance trailer not maintenance but like you know what i'm saying the mo second most anticipated dlc uh dude that that's that's huge oscar that's freaking huge but once we get this back there then we can like build the other bridges in no time no freaking time. What's up, this guy? I see you out there in the chat. You have to find the trailers yourself in hard mode? Oh, yeah. I know you have to find them in hard mode. Thankfully, we're not playing in hard mode today. My God. Have you used the tank mod? I have. It's so fun. Like, literally, it is so much freaking fun. I love how it, like, you can tell that it's got a trailer behind it, but it's still just a little, like, to the point where it, does, it pretty much doesn't care, you know? <laughs> TZ, uh, how about a hybrid? Well, like, in what sense? Like, like a LaFerrari hybrid where it's used for electric boost? I mean, that's pretty cool. But you know what's actually even cooler than that? Is the fact that, like, wait, people who started before one of the recent updates didn't have the trailers from what it seems. Gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. I started right when the first version came out, so. But, like, you know what was doing electric boost in a hybrid before the LaFerrari was? The Honda CRZ. It was a hybrid, but it wasn't a hybrid for gas mileage. It was a hybrid because it had an electric boost button in there that was basically like a Fast and Furious NOS button, but for electric boost. It was hilarious, and nobody gave it enough credit. At least in my opinion. Nobody gave the Honda CRZ enough credit for how cool their electric boost button was. Like, I cannot get over how incredibly hilarious that thing was, you know? Keep forgetting I have to do hard mode and console-friendly trucks. Oh, yeah. Easy, 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 easy. There we go. How do you use the generator trailer? Uh, you just need to pull into the generator zone and turn it on and make sure it has fuel. Let's see. That was the big, big brain idea for me. Bro, I get it. I'm going to be knocking out these bridges like it's nobody's business in a second. God, this thing is, like, so over the top in terms of, like, it just bounces off of everything. And keeps on going. It's like, ah, we're all good. Are you on PC? Heck yeah. Ruben, ah, the CRZ. 202 fuel damage at once. Yeah, I know. Hey, warehouse is open. Even the cargo looks intact. I owe you one. I don't know how the cargo is intact, but it's intact. What's this? Oh, consumables, metal beams. Bro. Bro! That's sick. All right. We'll take these, not to bridge to the island, but we'll take it to the other bridge. This will be enough to, like, the lawnmower has an electric boost button. That's hilarious. That is freaking hilarious. F-150 Blitzo truck. I, I drove the Blitzo truck on the last, um, on the last stream a lot, actually. Did you see our full video on it? 
See, here's a secret at the airport jump in Alaska. The monstrosity can make it to the to the secret island. Oh, that's sick. Been a minute, but hey, DC, what's up, Smitty? I see you out there in the chat. By the way, guys, thank you so much. We're about to blow through 450 likes on the stream. That is freaking amazing. Also about to blow through 550 people out here, which is sick. By the way, if you're just joining us today and you are curious as to what the latest additions to console mods are, this is going to be your list of console mods that dropped as of today. A little bit of stream hydration there, but we got the Dearborn Roswell Off-Road. We also got the Kaizen World Roamer, as well as some new maps and a bunch of other really, really fun stuff that we actually have, um, that we actually haven't really seen much of before. Let's see. What if we know I have Monster Truck? Wait, what? Let's see. I saw it, by the way. I'm Dotson 03. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And let's see. Accept. Start tracking. And no. There we go. Cargo management. Boom. Boom. Hey. All right. So we got that done. Now all we got to do is go back to the warehouse, grab the spare parts, and we got another bridge built. It's freaking awesome. Logging. Um, There is logging out here on this map, and you can do it. Uh, we just haven't gotten into it just yet. I'm trying to see if there's a way that I can find the last... Oh, okay. I got you. I got you, Dots No. 3. But um, I'm going to try and see if there's a way that we can find that other trailer that seems to have despawned itself. Uh-huh. Carlos says, the camera is blurry. If you're having issues with um, blurry picture quality, make sure you're running the uh, the maximum quality settings, okay? All right. Cargo management. Wait, my, why am I not? Bridge to the island. Bridge to the... Ah! Bridge to the sawmill. Service spare parts. Service spare parts. Bro, this is like... This is literally like tasking at hyper freaking speed. Let's see. Once again, he just keeps going camera blurry, camera blurry. I'm like, you need to freaking check the quality settings, my dude. Howdy, Mr. Banana. But yeah, no, like you just need to check your freaking quality settings, my dude. Like that's what, um, let's see. You're the most interactive streamer on YouTube. Just been looking at your chat and almost uh, running into trees and flipping. Hey, honestly. Oh, by the way, guys, I didn't even realize you blew through 450 likes on the stream. But yeah, no, honestly, like, dude, to, a to answer your point on that, like, I know that I'm going to hit trees and stuff like that. I just love being interactive with you guys, you know? All right. Boom. Boom. Bridge completo. All right. So now we can even get to the sawmill. We can get to pretty much anywhere we need to go now that that bridge is built and the barricades are pulled down. So we got that bridge done. We got this bridge done. And then now, really, like, all that we need is let's see so now they want us to do bridge to the island for whatever reason like wait bridge to the island bridge to town and then at the apex and unlucky expedition that should get us closer to maybe being able to find that trailer that we need freaking hate logging i'm gonna skip it bro let's see i'm a 1080p camera still blurry it shouldn't be it shouldn't be. I mean, sometimes this camera is a little weird, but the weird thing about it is that, like, I even bought a brand new, you know, like, a brand new um, super high-end webcam, and sometimes it still even freaks out. Like, this is a brand new, like, high-end Logitech camera. It's not a cheapo camera. It's a nice camera, but I've been thinking about switching over to, like, using a DSLR as a webcam, for live streaming because of the inconsistency of the Logitech. You know what I mean? So like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone is like, I hit the trees and I'm not even, and I don't even talk. Oh my God, that's hilarious. I don't even talk while I play and I still hit trees. Bro, I feel that on an emotional level. Let's see, it looks like a bike rack. Oh, the thing on the back, it's just for an extra cargo unit. That's all. Let me also see bridge to the island. Oh, is it also service spare parts times two? Gotcha, okay. Yeah, I mean, we. C I don't want to have to drive all the way back is the thing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I could probably get a trailer. But, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll come back and, like, can you try the Z-Pack from Pog? That thing is really, really cool. Um, Let's see. Spare parts. The planks. Oh, wrong area. Wrong area. Hold on. Cargo management. Boom, boom. Got that one done. And I'm sure there's another task that we can use to unlock that other trailer that we don't have right now that we need in order to unlock that tunnel. I need to stop hitting crap because I'm literally like, let's see, once phase four is out on console, I'm going to go, um, 
go do the task to unlock Cosmodrome, and then go get the new ZIKZ. Hey, there's apparently a little bit of a lead-up to that, though. Um, a little bit of a lead-up to that in terms of the tasks that you gotta do beforehand, so make sure that you don't try to attempt that right out of the gate, because you're not gonna like what happens. But can H, console mods, question mark? I'm glad you asked. So console mods as of today are as follows. You got the Dearborn uh, Dearborn Roswell Off-Road. You got the Kaizen World Roamer. You got the Truck Max Pack. You got the Meteor Region. You got Aspen Hills. You got Weather Station 34. You got an updated Twice Twin Steer. You got a bunch of great stuff available on consoles as of right now. Definitely get on that if you are a console player. Tons of great ones for you guys to choose from. Here my boy. <laughs> right, bud? I'm playing on TC Quick Race. Heck yeah, bud. That's sick. Diesel lighting would be the one to knock down trees on purpose. Heck yeah, you know he would. Let's see. Pull a second twin steer and cut your trips in half. Boy, I'm glad you asked. Mm. There is a very easy way to realize, uh, to realize your suggestion. So, with that being said and realized, ha ha. Let's see. Cargo only. Wait, rear mounting bracket. Where's the rear mounting bracket? Where is it? Now, our dream setup can be fully realized. Oh, that's right, Empower. I saw that earlier, although I was a little bit concerned that the, that it might have been a sketch model. Oh, Stakes console-friendly Nissan Frontier. I heard about that thing. I saw it. I haven't tried it yet. Um, because I wasn't sure if he wanted it to be showcased without textures. But with that being said, though, like, if he wants me to showcase it, like, I'd give it a shot. So now that we got another twin steer, now, now we can really go in, like, deep into crazy land. Happy Fox Adventures, do you have any friends? Why, yes. I have, I have, I have, like... Three. No, I'm just kidding. I have actually a lot of friends that I enjoy hanging out with. And to be honest, I love hanging out with you guys as well. Like, I love hanging out on here with you guys. And honestly, like, I have so many friends that I've met through, like, the car community, the off-road community. So many of these different automotive communities have allowed me to meet some, like, incredible people. Some absolutely incredible people. How about the cat eye? The cat eye is cool, but is it two twin steers tied together cool? I don't know. I was gonna say, I don't know. I haven't tried this before. This is gonna be hilarious. We're literally gonna hook two twin steers together. And they are going to drive wish like or wish with each other to the objective. One is gonna get the metal beams, the other one is gonna get a full four service spare parts, because that way we can knock out both bridges. Oh, it's got textures now? Oh heck yeah! Dude, I'll definitely give it a shot if it's got textures now. Patiently waiting on part two to BC. Dude, Jack Stan, that is actually in the upload schedule and it will be on the way soon. Uh huh. Will the IX Qual Steer ever be on console? I don't know if he plans on doing that or not. Uh, who made the console friendly cat eye? Uh, Mr. Frog. Mr. Frogo. So we've got the. Wait a minute. So wait. So we need. Hmm. We're gonna have to come back for something. Yeah, it might as well be the metal beams. Let's see. I'll do it with two quad steers and two IX-8 slots. Jesus! That's wild! That's awesome, Empower, though. Uh, yes, Joker Laugh. Actually, yes, there is. And I, I think it's like, like, even out on consoles. Zareen, what's up out there? I see ya. I hate returning trailers. Bro, I get that, though. All right, where's me service spare parts, my dude? Hey, what's up, Laser on Gaming? I see you out there in the chat. All right. Got four spare parts. We don't need five, otherwise I would have taken it. And so now, we're going to take this thing up there. We're going to get the other twin steer, or other quad steer, rather. Hook this to the end of it. And let's see, complete rebuild on it uh, to get the suspension animated. That may be a while. Bro, you know what you should do is like, well, I mean, I'm not here to tell you what you should and shouldn't do, but like what would be really cool to see would be to see like a solid axle swapped crawler version with like one tons and 40s. And then another version that's like long travel independent, like Baja style. You know what I mean? All right. So now this guy is good to go here. Now we're going to swap to the quad steer. Good to go there. Then we hitch him up. 
now it's double the quad steer power. What is it now? An, like, octo steer? Double quad steer would be octo steer. So technically, yes. Doing really well, Key. How about you? How about you? Take a trailer. I could do that too, but like, oh, turn on the engine in the winch truck. Oh, turn on. Yes. It was off before. That's why it was like being a little iffy behind me. Let me just make sure I'm going the right way. I got to go in and out and down. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Easy. We got a little bit of a loop-de-loop -loop drive, but it's all good. Old one versus a new one. That would be really fun, man. Thank you for the suggestion. What's another BRZ video coming? Actually, really soon, Colin. I've got one finished, and it's actually already uploaded. It just needs to be, well, not already uploaded. It's public. It's private right now, but it will be released really, really soon. And I actually talk about how I broke some stuff, but, um, oh, God. Octo Steer gives me bad ideas. Mm, good. Good, good, good. Yes. I now patiently await the arrival of the IX Octo Steer. Oh my god. Yes. Please, puppy. Yes. Dude, this road is freaking torn up, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, this road freaking torn up, well, I'll tell you. Man, they need to get the DOT out here pronto. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh my god. Like I said, Key, it's, doing, it's going really well. Uh-oh. I should not have done this. I took my eyes off the road for just one second. Uh-oh. We got a balance bridge here, boys. Engage truck mode. Hopefully we don't end up with any issues on the balance bridge. Hey, we good. Let's see. No, not the double quad steer. It's almost as powerful, but with 20 wheels. Just about. Let's see if I can put it in high. See if it'll hold it. It's kind of holding it. We're just on the way to our drop-off point right now. We got all the freaking service fare parts we could need for both of these bridges. Oh, God. Is that a cut-through? I shouldn't take it. But I'm going to. Why? Because I'm an idiot. At, but it's okay. Because we have quad-steer power. We will be just fine. Yikes. Hold on. It kept running into the back of my rig. I needed it to not do that. Oh, yeah. This is a breeze. This is a breeze. It's an even even bigger breeze for the, um, for the Octo Steer. Just got to keep that cargo on and we'll be good to go. I love how people in the chat are like, no, take the long way. And Diesel's like, hey, this is the way I'd go. And I'm like, see? With the maneuverability of that rear steer, thing is ripping. Absolutely freaking ripping, bud. Low bridge or low tree, I should say. What'd I tell you? This is the way. The Beans Way. Beans Way slash Diesel Attic Way. But it's all good. Either way. I love how, like, even though we've already cleared the landslide, we didn't even bother to go around. Like, we could have very easily just taken the long way and it would have been a lot safer. But, ah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. This is the way. Ah, we try. <laughs> Although this downhill is pretty gnarly, so I'm gonna I'm gonna slow my roll just a little bit on this downhill. It's a little bit gnarly, gnarly boy. Aha! This about to be easy peasy, boys. This is the way. The quad steer and diesel have spoken. All right, righto. We'll drop that guy right there. Got that first part done. Now, let's get this parked out of the way. And now, we switch. Boy, I, oh. For some reason, controller uh, doesn't really like to switch trucks on the PTS yet. Could you imagine a 16-wheel drive octo-steer eight slot? 
Ah, uh, yikes. Boom, done. All right, first step on that one, getting done, getting knocked out. This guy is gonna stay parked on the side of the road because he's got the other two units that we need. But we only need to bring two more units of metal beams out here. That guy, I'm gonna just do a quick uh, shutdown on the engine. And this guy is also gonna get recovered, cut down on travel time, and then head back to the warehouse, grab the metal beams that we need, and then be on our way. We are ripping this contract, man, or rather this task. We are absolutely freaking ripping this one. Hey, no worries, Steven. You are still out here, bud. All right, let me see if I can... You know what? You know what? I think I can gap that. And we're right here by the garage, so it doesn't matter if we fail. So... Let's try and gap it. Oh! Oh, boys! We just gapped that. We just gapped that. Oh, my God. We just gapped... The Ravine. Yo, we just blew through 500 likes on the stream as well. Thank you guys so much. I genuinely appreciate it. Uh-oh, don't go that way, though. That way is bad news. Yeah, boy. You know what? Don't go this way. This way is a bad idea. I should not have done this. Hammond, why have you done this? Well, it seems like a good idea at the Holy Ninja Winch. Jeez! Holy cow! TCU, madman! Uh, let's see, this is all about bridges. It will be until we get access to that trailer. So we just need the access to the equipment trailer and then we can get to the Cosmodrome and actually unlock a bunch of the new stuff. We just need to get there first. Uh, it's the outhouse for whenever the guy that's observing, you know, needs some relief. <laughs> back end of the warehouse. All right, we're going to go ahead and get back up onto the road real quick. And I don't know if that, um, wait, do you have the no weak plants mod? I do not, but I probably should have it. Yeah, I probably should get it. Daniel, what's going on out there in the chat, my boy? All right, making my way back to the warehouse. Going to get our last load of metal beams and we're going to build that second bridge. And this thing is going to be knocked out in no time. No freaking time. Yeah, just about, Ruben. Just a freaking bout. Feeling good about it, Beans? Yeah, me too. Quad steer Dorifto. Cue the Eurobeat. Cue the... Ah! Cue the running in the 90s. Ruben Sage with that $5 super chat. Thanks for playing, TC. Thank you so much for supporting, my dude. Thank you so freaking much. All right. Metal Beams time, y'all. Let's go. Here we go, getting after it. Let me also just make sure, and it is uh, the bridge we're building right now is bridge to town. Yeah, metal beams and service fair parts. They're all the same, you know what I mean? They're all the same requirement. So we'll get out there and get this knocked out. So my question is, hmm, yeah, we should probably take we should probably take the road on that one. Yeah, the road's gonna be the fastest way just because of where it is, especially now, like, I'm sure they are, Daniel. I'm sure they are. Um, every way is easy in the quad steer. Not always. Not always, bruv moment. <laughs> metal beams, you mean metal beans? Let's see. Do you still call it snow runner in April or just call it mud runner? Well, after all the snow melts, it does turn into mud runner. Where is the L400? Um, not on consoles yet, but you know, once again, I think they had some memory leak issues with it. So uh, hopefully those get resolved shortly and it passes testing because the reason why it's not on console is because it hasn't passed testing yet. She's rolling out now, boys. Man, without having that other truck behind it, this thing is untethered. It's a freaking, it's a freaking race steer. Speedy speed boy. Speedy speed boy. You know what? I'm just gonna throw it in high because apparently on obstacles like this, it likes to randomly downshift. Trevin and Dylan, what's going on, you guys? I see y'all out there in the chat, my dude. Let's go, 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 go. All right. Let's see if we can just fit our way across this balance bridge without losing any steam. Hey, 
We could probably have just jumped that in the quad steer. Put it in high. That just kind of locks it in fifth, right? It's a little slower on main roads in high, but that's really no issue. TC over here just casually drifting a quad steer. I mean, hey, Q running in the 90s. It's all good. Doing really well, Dylan. How about you? And Chris, uh, let's see. Christian Rodriguez, what's up, buddy? I was going to say, the snow be like, aha, I will stop this quad steer. And I'm like, ah, this snow got jokes. This snow got freaking jokes. Making my way through the snow, not slowing down. <laughs> Fully sent. Oh, what? Well, it may or may not have bent my stack on that one. I love all the tracks that are through here. You can really see we've been freaking um, rampaging it. Yeah, I'm using the more, like, balanced one, the six-speed. The eight-speed is warp factor speed. I'm not going to run the eight-speed just because I don't want to, like... I don't want to overpower it that much. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I also didn't want to flip it over by the bounce there. That would not be optimal. All right, we back in record time. Imagine if DevTools were in the campaign. Good grief. All right, first bridge. Me and Beans are a fan of that. Second bridge. God, so many freaking bridges. Start tracking. Cargo management. Boom, boom. All right, so that bit's done. Dude, the quad steer squad out here ripping through these bridge builder tasks. Get it parked, nice and easy. Quick shutdown, and swap over. This guy's been waiting with his uh, spare parts patiently. Commander 2.0 deserves overpowering, bro. I know, right? Let's see. Gotta love those like those little sitting trees. Yeah, I know, right? And boom, we done, dude. Oh my God, we've been knocking these the heck out. Unlucky expedition. So, I want to see what some of these give us access to. You know what I'm saying? So, let's see. How do you get the quad steer? Uh, it's actually a mod by Puppy Master. So, all you got to do is just download um, or download it from mod.io. Uh, sub to it in your game. So, let's see if any of the tasks up here have anything to do with the equipment trailer. Now, this is a abandoned um, village, it looks like. And, let's see. What is this? Let's see. I maintain a radio tower on a hill not too far from here. My SUV wouldn't start yesterday. I have no idea what the problem is, so I left it there. Could you help me tow it here? And uh, I could take a good look at it. I love how all the people in this game, they just leave their crap everywhere. They're like, yeah, my so-and-so broke down, um, so I just left it there. Can you go get it for me? Don't you love that? Ah, yes. Cold brew stream hydration. Cold brew is always... Always a wonderful element of stream hydration. This is how I finish Wisconsin in a week. Boy, I get it. That quad steer squad. Quad steer is the strategy. It's the freaking strat out here. Beans runner. What is this one access to? It's another rescue. We have a situation. We have a small business and we're doing some research here, but we got in an accident on our way back. To cut it short, we have no access to the vehicle or the trailer cabin. Can you help us? Details. Broken SUV and trailer cabin. Whoa. So, what about... What about that bottoms up task? And for hard to reach places... Hold on. Let me do... Let me do a quick check. So, his left his SUV at the apex to be retrieved by the... Yes. Basically. Yeah. Um, oh, that's awesome, Ken Jr. Vlogs. That's legit. All right, let's see. Use the big controller behind you. I would love to, but unfortunately, that controller doesn't actually, like, plug into anything. But plus, you know, it would be hilarious to use because that thing is bigger than me. Like, literally, that giant inflatable Xbox controller is bigger than I am. I love how my horn knocks over the fences. I could be such a troll with that if the, if, if it actually did that in um, in real life. Oh, God. Okay. Hold on. Stop. Thank you. All right. I have a quick theory. I have a quick theory. So, on Map Runner, on Map Runner, 
in terms of let's see requirements a heap of work yes okay so a heap of work missions and points of interest let's see deliver to local residents house saddle low required factory trailer help truck and then oh god where is let's see missing tank fuel tank parking stuck suv one cabin uh what about this broken suv trailer cabin oh man supplies for the warehouse ice adventure deliver to the church let's see fuel tank parking hold on requirements a heap of work i need to see a heap of work like so i need a dedicated guide for a heap of work because like that makes absolutely no sense at all oh that's weird it's doing that thing again where it's like oh it's a pretty long one rex gamer 71 for sure let's see jackson that's been happening uh since yesterday supposedly wait what's been happening hold on let's see I don't like them trashing the SnowRunner world with their crappy trucks with highway tires. Oh, my God. Think about a quad with tracks. That'd be nuts. Oh, my God. What the heck just happened on the... What the heck just happened on the stream? That was weird. It went from, like... It went from, like, 500 and something likes on the stream down to, like, 470. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. It did that the other day, too. It, it literally... It did that yesterday, too. I don't know if that's a YouTube glitch or if, like... A bunch of people like suddenly removed their like I don't know what the heck that was about like nor do I know like what it um what it does YouTube is glitching out yeah I, I don't know why I don't know why it did that we were like 500 something likes on the stream and then like all of a sudden it went shows 531 likes on, on your YouTube right now because right now on my dashboard, it shows that it went from 530 all the way down to 560 or 466. And then it's like still dropping. That's weird, man. That's so weird. I don't understand that. That's so freaking weird. You see 522, 467. Yeah, that's that's all all over the place. Try to restart the mission. That's a good idea. The only problem is, if I restart the mission, or if I restart the contract, hold on. Let's see, Ammer Petroleum Company. All right, heap of work. Restart. Okay, now that I've restarted, I now need to deliver all this crap. But you know what? What is it, four, four, and four? I'm gonna go get a freaking, um, wait, let's see. 463, 458, watching it drop to... That, that's so weird. That's so weird. Like, have you guys tried, like... Have you guys tried re-liking the stream? Because, like, I don't know if it... Is it taking away your likes on the stream? Because that's very strange. That's, like... That's very strange. Does it still show that you've liked it? Or is it taking those away? Like, I don't understand what it's doing. All right, I'm going to go back to the main menu real quick. I'm going to get one of the IX-8 slots, but let's see. Um, once we get... I had to restart the mission to get the trailer to show up. That's what I'm going to do. So that way we can actually finally get to the... Um, that way we can finally get to that map. So uh, let's see. IX and eight, 8 slot road train ready. All right, so now that we got that engaged, we can load right back in. And let's see. Um... Roughly since 9 a.m. yesterday. That's very strange. That's very strange. Let's see. Mine is still there. I even undid it and redid it. Yeah, that's so odd. I don't know why it's... Um, let's see. Oh, God. Mark, dude. That's awful. Yeah. Um, and Diego, I don't know why it's doing it. I absolutely don't know why it's doing it. Let's see. I just did a... Um, I just did a YouTube update the other day, and it's been funny ever since then. Yeah, it's very strange. Um, it's very, very strange. And it always happens around the... Um, it always happens around the like hour and uh, like hour and ten minute to hour and twenty minute mark is is what it seems like. There's the white eight slot tag behind. I need to get in a good position, otherwise it won't spawn in properly. Actually, let me face the other way because that'll probably be a lot better. All right, easy. 
And back. And forward. I know there's a lot of, like, reversing going on here, but... Alright, so there's our IX-8 slot, boy. The IX Ridiculousness trailer. But with the IX Quad Steer and the IX-8 unit, we will be able to go nuts with this thing. Avery, what's going on uh, in the chat, dude? But yeah, guys, like I said, you know, I don't know what its issue is, but, you know, we're just going to go ahead and move on from it. And, you know, like, technical issues happen sometimes. And, you know, regardless, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get it back up to 500. Hey, who knows? Let's see if we can get it back up to 500. And if we can, heck yeah. But, you know, I mean, we press on through even technical issues. Because technical issues won't stop us from making our way to the next stage of this. Now, I did restart this contract, but we're going to knock it out real quick because of our gigantic road train trailer. Knock out this first stage and then hopefully gain access to that new trailer that we need in order to unlock the next map. And then we can find, um, yeah, I, it, it's very weird, puppy. I agree with you on that. Do you have beans on the dash in IRL? I need to. Yeah, I need to. Hey, you guys, you guys blasted it back to that 450 mark. That's freaking legit. Let's see. Um, Aiden, we actually hit it like right before New Year's. Yeah, really cool really freaking cool and yeah i definitely don't like i don't blame it on any of you guys it's just some weird technical glitch but we're gonna go up the steep route over here and i love how we just bombed through there with the trailer the nice thing about these trailers is that they are unspillable so um we're also going to find the new zikz 605r when we make our way to the new map and once we get to the new map we're also going to find a few other things that we um that we haven't actually found yet like for example the crazy engine for um, some of the like some of the smaller some of the smaller scouts I get this thing turned around this thing is like turning around a spaghetti mobile I can fit if I fits I sits come on if I fits I sits and I don't take nose for an answers I don't take no's for an answers. This conversation's fast becoming a confrontations. <laughs> oh my god. Anybody that knows where that's from is, I'm sure, going to chime in in the chat. For sure is going to chime in in the chat. Does it really, Ruben? We're going to have to check in on that for sure. Rampaging our way out here, though. Let's see. What's up, Delane? I see you out there in the chat. Are you playing Surrender right now, Kyle Gaming? That's sick. That's freaking sick, bro. All right, so landslide near the tunnel. We're gonna throw the metal beams on here. We need two units. Boom, boom. And then trailer. So wooden planks are gonna be in the other load point. So, trailer, service spare parts, one, two three four and then we need wooden planks from the other one which will then be one two three and four all right trailer stop stop this thing won't stop okay there we go stop okay now we're good wooden planks make it sure one two three four so we got everything for the first stage of this contract in one load in one load we're gonna do this this is nuts by the way i do not recommend attempting this if you are a bit faint-hearted because let's see i'm late but i'm here hey bang dolan what's going on did you get the truck stuck nah back it up Turn around. Oh, no. Oh, don't tell me this is what I think it is. Oh, no. We'll be fine. I promise. Okay, there we go. Just had to bounce ourselves out of there. It's okay. Oh, boy. Luckily, we can take the road this time. Because being able to take the road is extremely lucky. Extremely lucky. Now, let's... Normal load up for me, Diesel Addict says. Hey, we're playing Diesel Addict style now. 
And even if that cargo kind of like basically comes out of its straps in the trailer, we'll still be able to repack it because it's a box trailer. It's unspillable, so we're all good. Don't worry about it. No, is he stuck? Nah. We ain't stuck, not today. Yee, yee, you're back. What's up, buddy? What's up? Oh, thank you, Creek Squad. I appreciate that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Woo! We almost tagged the trailer on the bridge. That would not have been... That would not have been handy-dandy or nifty-nifty. Neither freaking way would have been good. I'm just throwing her in high and locking her there. You liking, the, liking this cruise, Beans? Oh, he says it's all good with him. Stream hydration time. Oh my god. Bro, we got the ultimate setup today. We got beans, we got our quad steer, we got our eight slot. We're knocking this stuff out today. Absolutely knocking it out of the ballpark. Oh my god. Whoa! Oh jeez. Not gonna lie, knocking it out of the ballpark sounds like a real boomery expression. <laughs> but it's all good. I love some of them. Graham, what's up? Denise, what's up? I see you guys out there saying hi in the chat. Welcome back. Thank you so much for dropping by. And what's up, Mr. Polar Express? I see ya. Oh, it's massive indeed, uh, Nuke Slayer. It's absolutely massive. Garrett, what's up, my dude? What is good? Hunter Perkins, I see you saying hi out there as well. All right, you better believe that we're going to take the cut through. Although, we may have to plow right through that halfway fallen over tree because... Oh, is that is that, tr uh, is, is that right, Ruben? That's pretty sick. They need to add a beans mobile. Boy, I need to get with a modder on that. Let's see. Either evil or a jerk. Ah, uh, probably the probably the second option. Come on. Oh no. Oh no! Whoa! Hold on. Now we're repacked again. But thankfully right there, see what would have happened if we didn't have that um, that particular trailer is it would have all spilled out. But we're all good. Let's see. What are some maps with the ice breaks? Um, definitely any of the Amandra maps and then also for sure out here on the uh, Amir Oblast maps in phase four. Dylan and Keith, what's up you guys? The Beans 500, what's going on my dude? That'd be an awesome race, the Beans 500. Beans would be the official mascot of it. <laughs> Yeah, just about had a Hannum. Hannumed? Hammond, not Hannumed. Yep, you can see the cargo in there too. I love when the camera kind of glitches inside. Just hit that summon notification button. Thank you so much, Avery. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Seriously, bro. That's huge, my dude. We don't speak of Amandra ever. Ah, don't worry about it, Maverick. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. All good. It's all good. All right, keeping, oh, keeping ourselves on the right track here. We all good. I don't think I should be going down this hill at full speed, but once again, ah, don't worry about it. Actually, the trailer kind of helps stabilize us in a way, in an odd way, it does kind of help stabilize. I did the math that you were driving a 26 wheeler. Heck yeah, brother, I'll take that. Afternoon, Donnie. What's going on out there in the chat? I see you, dude. Uh, Mr. Fuller Express, definitely if you're experiencing that, uh, refresh your stream and uh, uh, just kind of back out and come back in. Usually fixes it right up. Uh huh? Let's see. You should get a Discord. Well, Avery, you are in luck because we do have one. Uh, Diesel Addict, if you could go ahead and drop the link to the Discord out there in the chat, that would be legit. John Kenny, what's going on, my dude? All right, and now, once we drop all this stuff off, since we restarted the contract, the trailer should hopefully finally appear. I, you go down hills like that and high with the eight speed? Jeez, bro. That's nuts. All right, we're gonna have to take the slight bypass here, but it's nothing crazy. Yeah, it's, it's nothing crazy. This bridge is just unrepairable, it seems. There's no task for it, so it doesn't really let you do it. Like, I'd repair it if it would let me, but it doesn't let me. By the way, guys, once again, you guys are more than welcome to drop into the Discord that the um, the, the link is out there in the chat that um, Puppy and Diesel actually just posted it out there. So definitely hope you guys enjoy that. What have you missed? Uh, well, you boy, Rickstep, 
We are currently attempting to uh, redo what we did last time, except we're attempting to be successful this time in destroying the objective of a heap of work and unlocking the next map that houses the ZIKZ 605R, as well as, I believe, the rocket launch site. This bridge is a little uh, off camber. Yo, we coming in. We are getting after it, boys. Dude, I'm just gonna rage in this thing now. Beans and I are raging down this hill. Oh, what? Oh, come on. Dude, stupid telephone poles, am I right? Oh, no. There you go. Yep, we good. Oh, no. We not good. Ah, oh, we good. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Okay. I have, actually, Tango. I've had some for a while. It's not super expanded yet, but I will definitely be expanding it more in the future. But yes, it is available. Shirts and stickers, actually. So if you've ever wanted to put a TC sticker on anything, you, you can absolutely go for it. All right, easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're all good. All right, so now let's see if it gives us access to this new trailer, boys, finally. Finally, finally, finally. All right, metal beams dropped off. Wood planks, boom, 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 boom. This is so satisfying. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so now equipment trailer. Do we have a locator for it? No. Yes. Yo. The equipment trailer exists. Oh, boy. I'm so freaking pumped. I'm so freaking pumped. We are about to get to the launch site. Whoa, this is about to go nuts. I, I am so excited right now. I am so excited right now. Hammond, look what you did the, to the quad steer, you idiot. Well, it's all good. A stream hydration time? Yes. Cold brew stream hydration time, actually. Ah. Don't you guys love yourself some proper, like, some proper cold brew coffee? I don't know how many of you guys are coffee people out there in the chat, but, like, man, like, there's just something about cold brew that's just so good. Maybe that makes me a coffee hipster. I don't know, but, like... I just, I, I like cold brew so much. Now, that's different than, um, than just iced coffee that has been hot brewed and then, and then cooled down. Cold brew is a different thing. So, launch site go burr. Oh, launch site about to go burr. Boy, Orion, you're curious as to the new console mods? I am glad you asked, my dude. So, new console mods as of today are the Dearborn Roswell Off-Road, the uh, Kaizen World Roamer, which a lot of people have been heavily anticipating. We also got new maps like Aspen Hills, Weather Station 34, and the Meteor Region, as well as an updated version of the Trucks Max Pack, as well as the Twice Twin Steer being back on consoles again. Um, definitely hope that you enjoy those. And now we are back in our adventure. Recover, 8-speed, and zoomies. Well, I'll tell you what. Recovering is definitely going to be faster because now really all we have to do is blaze through the road and then take the shortcut and then we'll be right down there in that village, which is where the equipment trailer is. So we are off to the races, my dude. Let's see. I've been doing a lot of bulk logs lately. You should consider it when logging. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Did you check to see if that bridge is listed under a contract? I haven't yet, Double J, but I might actually. Let's see. Oop, easy. Oh, no worries, Big Blue. Thank you so much. What are we doing? Oh, boys. We're actually, genuinely this time, we're about to get access to the Cosmodrome because now we actually have the proper trailer and it's hidden in a village way down on the other end of the map in the other corner, but it's all good. We can get to it super easily. I didn't even put the 8-speed in it. We're just going to rage with the 6-speed anyway. Mountain Dew is my coffee. Oh, God. Mountain Dew. I'll tell you what. What's up, dude? What's up, Zach? Is this the real MVP? Hey, what's up, man? What is good? Mick Myers, what's going on? Are you liking the rig? That's legit, man. Thank you so much. I'm glad you dig it. It's the IX quad steer. Thing rips. It's a beast. All right. So 
Could either take the narrow route, or you know what else I could do? We just go right up there. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. Hey, 10 damage is a small price to pay for that. Up on one side for a couple seconds, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Let's see. Also, TCI run on coffee. Hey, I get you on that. I've never tried kickstart banana because I am too worried to. Like, literally, I get kind of like, I get a little, a little jittery when I drink energy drinks. I don't get jittery when I drink coffee, but when I try energy drinks, like Red Bull, for example, like, I get jittery, and I don't know why, but it, like, it doesn't make me all too comfortable, so that's why I've kind of avoided things like Kickstart, so, let's see, that muddy dip on the road, yo, Trevin, I completely understand, man, see if you can break through the ice, oh, I can, yeah, I can, I've done that before, whipping it around, this thing properly whips, though, absolutely whips, let's see, can I map tomorrow? So actually, Mr. Polar Express, there is a uh, follow-up video to that video coming very, very soon, potentially tomorrow or maybe the day after, but it's already filmed, and it's actually a continuation of that story. So let's see. They're, they're so good. It's not like Red Bull or Rockstar's. Yeah, Rockstar does not have good effects on me. I'll tell you that, like, right now. We're going to enter on this side so we can just loop-de-loop -loop around the other side with the, uh, with the trailer behind us. So... Let's see, you need some Death Wish coffee and Black Rifle coffee uh, is sold where you... Well, oh, yeah, no, I've seen it in the store. Like, I haven't tried those particular blends yet, but, like, I love trying different kinds of, like, cold brew coffee. It's really cool. Especially, like, Nitro Cold Brew. Nitro Cold Brew is the stuff, man. I know everybody loves to pick on Starbucks, but their Nitro Cold Brew is the bomb. Like, it's so good. Wait, is it not in the village? Oh, it's up there. Okay, never mind. My bad. It wasn't in the village. It's up past the village. That was some weird physics right there, boy. I tried Monster and I felt fantastic. Yeah, you'll feel fantastic for a couple of hours, and then you'll pass the heck out. Left, 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 or right. I don't, I don't know. Either way. Either way works at this point. It's the quad steer. Eduardo, what's going on out there in the chat? The monobike and the uh, octopus have quite a worthy competitor now, I'd say. Well, I'd say. I actually already filmed it, and you'll be seeing a video on it soon. Um, lots of giggling was involved, uh, so you definitely made a good giggle mobile. Yo, I've never been up here. It's like an abandoned factory. Whoa! This is wild! All right, our trailer should be back there. Just make sure nobody's behind us. All right, too close. All right, pick it right up. Bro, y'all ready for Cosmodrome? Apparently the trailer ain't ready for Cosmodrome. The trailer's like, don't make me go! And I'm like, oh, you're going. But yeah, now here's the big question. Is Cosmodrome ready for us? Cause I don't think it is. I genuinely don't think Cosmodrome is ready for us. Bro, I should have just, like, packed this on top of the freaking, uh, bed of the Twin Steer. I should have. I totally should have. Let's see. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, Red. I got gotcha. you. Oh, back it up. Easy gets it done. All right, let me make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, I just got to drive out of town and make a left. We all good. Bro, we're actually right about to blow through 500 legs again. That's amazing for the second time. We've done that twice on one stream. It's like some legendary like Twilight Zone vibes or something on that one. Groundhog Day, reliving the like number. <laughs> reliving the like number. An Arizona tea? I mean, yeah, they're good. I haven't had one in a long time, but... Them trailers really hate you today. Yeah, sometimes they do that. But it's all good. Hey, we blew through that 500 likes mark for the second time on the stream. You guys are freaking monsters. Absolute freaking monsters. All right. Now let's see if we can try to not get our trailer stuck on a uh, power line or a power pole this time. 
just raging it, me and Beans are. Just let that non-existent traffic know we're coming. All right, off camera bridge. Here we go, and sending it down the hill, boys. What's up, Healer12? I see you out there in the chat. What's good? Whoa. Same telephone pole, but it's okay, because it hit it sideways. I love how this trailer would totally just be destroyed right now, but we don't care, because we're in the IX quad steer, so it's all good. Ow. I'm like, ow. Oh, boy. Easy. I don't know if, like, I just heard a gigantic noise outside. I don't know if it was, like, thunder or what. Or, like, something, like, dropped out of, like, a big truck or something. Your ZJ's engine is back together, by the way. Heck, yeah. I forgot what engine it was. Was it the inline six or... I can't remember if it was the inline six or not. But once we unlock this, um, this portal, we're going to pull the IX-8 slot in there with us so we can use it for whatever tasks lay ahead. Hey! Keep it work done! Outworld available for installation. Outworld available for purchase. Bro. Bro! I'm so ready. You guys ready? I'm so ready. We're about to make our way to... Trailer too far away. Trailer too far away, my butt. Come on. Oh my god. There we go. Thank you. You guys ready? To head to the Cosmodrome. Finally, once and for all, it is Cosmodrome time. Oh my god. But before it's Cosmodrome time, it's Cold Brew time. All right. Oh, the 4-0 straight six. Same engine I had in my XJ, pretty much. All right, boys. Let's get that ZIKZ 605R. Three, two, one. Let's go. Travel time. Cosmodrome loading up. This is what I tried to do on the last stream, but you know, somehow, some way, it didn't happen. So here we are. Um, here we are correcting that. Holy smokes. Welcome to Cosmodrome. Whoa. Dude. It's all hidden, but that's okay. Repair bay. Oh, that's sick. It's hidden, but man. Yo, we brought the right tools for the job. Quad steer and freaking IX-8 slot. And now, a word from our sponsors. Yeah, right? Be careful, there's gonna be hidden stuff. Oh, I know. I am well prepared. Hey, right off the bat task. Let's see. Log crossing. I don't even know uh, the shape our cargo would be if you just, uh, if you try to go over that crossing right now. Just bring a few logs here and I'll have someone finish the crossing for you. Oh, I see. We would probably have to get like, yeah, we would probably have to get stuff from, um, let's see. Like that truck you're driving? Let's see, be careful right there, trust me. Don't worry about it. We'll just send it. Ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Quad steer go burr. Um, so that's going to be a watch point, and I'll come back for the trailer, but let me pull the trailer through there, and now detach. I'm going to go get that watch point out of the way, and then we're going to get some of our tasks underway, and let's see, twice twin steer for its logging capabilities. Could use that, or I could use some other logging rated vehicles, which is going to be fine, but um, what's up, Colton? I see you out there in the chat. All right, I'm going to just rage up this hill. Get that watch point out of the way so we kind of have a little bit of a better idea of what we're dealing with. And um, let's see, Carlos, make sure you're running in the highest quality settings that you can and you should be all good. Easy, easy, easy. Where's my tower? There it is, I see it down the way. Down the way, I see it. Let's see, sealed power raising pistons to so fly, oh geez. Oh, did you plan on boosting it at any point? I've seen some people do like a, a like a single turbo four liter Jeep engine and it's like, it's silly. It's silly the way it sounds and the way it goes too. Eh, we'll get to it from here. But yeah, I'd love to do a boosted 4.0. 
Or you could do like a stroker kit too. I, I take it you didn't do the stroker kit now that it's back together and it's still a 4-0, but... Hey! Got it done. Whoa! Whoa! Yo, this is giving me mad Imandra flashback vibes. Dude, straight up mad Imandra flashback vibes. We got knee deep down here. That's a truck and a trailer. We got, whoa, garage located, sideboard semi, lost but not forgotten, rock slide, rock slide, oh, heck yeah, boy, Medio Point, yo, check out all this stuff, this is so cool, this is so sick, look at all the stuff we found, Joop. let's see, might get a mean cam, hey, I mean, Low compression inline sixes love boost. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, it's like the 2JZ of the Jeep world. Be even crazier with, like, a Pro Charger or some kind of, like, centripetal supercharger on it. That lake is, like, fully snowed over. I'm going, I'm going this way. Quad steer goes where quad steer wants. No damage. Oh my god, no damage. I should probably <laughs> Rex Gamer GG. Hey, if you want your brother McDonald, you freaking go for it. Cola PTSD is real. Yeah, heck yeah it is. Heck yeah it is, bud. Racking my freaking brain on that one. Oh boy. Get out of my way. You stupid tree. I did not tell you you were allowed to be here and get in my way. Abend! I should probably go get that garage before I attempt to rescue this truck, but ah, don't worry about it. It's fine. IX quad steer completion machine. Yo, look at that. Oh man, that'd be so fun to do in like a crawler or this. <laughs> uh, pretty soon off to go for sure. Oh God, whoa. Show task. Looks like the previous uh, courier didn't make it all the way to town. It's probably best to pull his truck back to the repair shop. It could be still of use to the locals. Except, start tracking. Deliver to the motor pool. Z-I-K-Z. -Z. Where is the motor pool, anyway? The motor pool is over there. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, I guess I'll just tow him straight through. I wish I had a crane with me, but ain't no big deal. Ha! You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't you even worry about it. You'll be fine. Wait, let's see. Trying to get all my progress back? Dude, I, I get that. How do you have so much money in the review videos? It's because I do those on the testing grounds. Um, and the testing grounds maps just give you max money automatically. Some mod maps do that as well. All right, you're coming with me, whether you like it or not. Hey, flipped it right back over, though. Easy peasy. All right, uh, am I going the right way? Meh. Generally speaking, I guess. Generally speaking. All right, Maverick, we'll see when you get back. Dylan, what's up? Exactly how I tow things. Hey. Turn engine on on winch truck. Oh, it's out of fuel. All right, well, I'll turn it back off then. Because if it's out of fuel, it doesn't really matter. What's up, Dawn? I see you out there. You killed it. Ah, don't worry about it. It's going to be gonna be just fine. Once again, I find myself going the wrong way. Why did I do such a horrible thing? I should have never done this. When will I learn? When will I learn that my actions have consequences? At least in SnowRunner. <laughs> oh, my God. If the truck could go on the back of your rig, it totally could. If I had like a um, like a crane, I could just hoist it up and pack it. It'd actually be really good for that. Pull it in. This is the way I should have gone in the first place. Throwing it into high and sending it. Scooby Doo, what's going on, man? Just now caught a live stream. Heck yeah, buddy! Thank you so much for dropping in and saying hi. All right, so we could go straight. There's a rock slide there. Uh, actually, we're just going to go straight. It actually looks like straight might just be a... um. That little truck got some updates for phase four. Ooh, heck yeah. Yeah, we're going to just go straight and see if we can... Uh, see if we can just blast our way through the woods. 
I don't see us having any trouble. Do you, Beans? Nah, he says, nah, we're good. He says, nah, we're good. Send her, boy. Full throttle sendies. And if we stop to get uh, to get some chicken on the way, it would be tendies and sendies. <laughs> or sendies and tendies. I don't know which way it would go, but... Oh, God! Whoa! I almost lost her there. Oh, I got you, Red. Okay. Paul Fowler, what's going on out there in the chat? I see you, bud. Do I care that that thing has gotten some damage? No. Uh, second season pass? Who knows? It'd be interesting to see, like, what comes in it, though, if they do. Oh, my God. Yo, this place would be awful in, like, any other truck. Oh, that boy is, like, tree stuck. Come on. Come on, little dude. You've got this. There we go. All right. Now we're back to where we need to be. Lockers and send it. Making our way. Oh, God. If we could avoid the trees, that'd be lovely. Aha! Oh, yo, what's up? That's perfect. Sup, that's perfect. Found the route. I can't hook the Delta to a gooseneck. Um, which gooseneck are you trying to hook it to? Because that can have major effects on whether or not it hooks up. Huh? <laughs> it's just bouncing around back there. Like, I can hear all the purists right now. You have no respect for that truck. And I'm like, ah, they're going to fix it later. It's okay. Sending it down the hill. It's still rolling. It almost landed on the back of the truck. Dude, if I, if I had, like, ninja packed it, that would have been amazing. That would have been freaking amazing. What is uh, What's new in the console mod department? Bro, I'm glad you asked. So we're actually going to be showing those again in just a moment. Let me just drop off this truck, and then I will be sure to show you that. I'd, I'd be beelining the road straight through the trees, LOL. I still try to somewhat stick to the road. Hey, she's back on her wheels again. Oh, yes. Dropped off. All right. She's good to go. So let's see. Now, the console mods that you guys have available to you as of today are as follows. You got the Dearborn Roswell Off-Road. You got the Kaizen World Roamer, which both of those are great. You got the Meteor Region. You got the Weather Station 34 map. You got the Aspen Hills map. You got the Twice Twin Steer getting updated. And you got the Trucks Max Pack as well. That is going to be your console mods update for the day. And now we're going to be jumping back into our Phase 4 playthrough. So now we got to make our way back to the garage because we need to unlock that garage. We need to actually... Um, actually rescued her there. Uh, the big text for... Oh, yeah. I don't know if that one is compatible with the Delta. It may be, but it also may not be. I'm not completely sure off the top of my head on that one. Let's grab this watch point real quick, though, because it's very, very, very close to where we are. And, um... Oh, you just had a weird ad. Ah, uh, I mean, I don't... Con I don't control which one of ones of those run. I mean, that's... Build additional farmhouses discovered. That's cool. All right, let me just kind of barrel my way up over these rocks. All right, shore collapse, fuel for the masses, and cliffside tree fall. Got a lot going on. Where's the launch site? I need to find the launch site. Customize the ZIKZ. Dude, I'll, I should actually recover it back so we can customize it a little bit in the garage. But we gotta um, actually get the garage under control first, and we gotta get it under our control. So that means we've got to... Uh, just grab it real quick. We got scout fuel. That's really nice. Yo, look at all this stuff. So the garage is right back down the road. Okay. So I'm just going to mark it real quick and just make sure I'm pointing the right direction. And let's go. I'm doing really good. Um, smoking. I'm doing really, really good. All right. Let's get back to the main road. Stream hydration. was absolutely time for some water right now. Absolutely needed that, my dudes. 
absolutely needed that. What's up, CJ Plays? I see you out there. Can you show all the trucks? Well, we're actually going to be trying to find the location of the new ZIKZ 605R. Now, I've driven it in a video, but I really want to see where the game actually tries to hide it on the map. You know what I mean? I also want to see where this supposed rock slide is because I'm sure that we can just handle it and take care of it real quick. Probably right down the way, huh? Right down the way. Easy. Yeah, and we could probably just drive over the ice if we need to go around it, but me and the boys at 3 a.m. looking for beans. Yeah, basically. Hassan, what's going on, man? I'll see you out there. Details. Rock slide. Metal beams times one from where? Oh, God. All right. We'll do this later. Yeah, that's a ways out there. We got to get, like, at least get recovered in the garage first. Wow, that is not a hard rock slide to drive around. I mean, well, it might be for some other trucks, but it ain't for this thing. That's awesome. What vehicle are you using? Uh, this is the IX Quad Steer, bro. There's my garagey boy. Oh, God. Hold on. I just realized that there was no side entrance. The side entrance is me! <laughs> Imagine filling this truck up in hard mode. Bro, no money in like two seconds. All right. Garage discovered and we moved in. Where's the ZIKZ? We can't use it. So I guess maybe it was like it stays there, but it's not like usable. That's interesting. We got, oh, let's see. Oh, also, there's apparently some new ZIKZ stuff too. So... Let me grab, actually, this ZIKZ, because I'm sure... Oh, God. I haven't explored all of that on this uh, on this save file. Oh, that's annoying. That's proper annoying. Um, They didn't add any... Huh. Wait. Customize. Yukon North America. Fine-tune box. Yeah, I haven't put all of my Tamir stuff on, the, on, the, on this save. But they've got some cool add-ons for it, though. I dig it. All right, let me sell it real quick. Hey, some for some reason, there was a Don 71 sitting in my inventory. Let's see. Is the IX Quad Steer on the Phase 4 maps on the PTS? Or this is... Yeah, no, CR. I see what you're doing. I see what you're talking about. Um, What is the font name in your thumbnails? I need this font. Thanks. Why? Impact, my dude. <laughs> All right. Let me grab the Unitog MP500. MP500. Off-road and slow off-road. Heavy duty and crawler. Well, wait. Do not use for hauling cargo. Eh, we'll do heavy duty. That's fine. So, let's see. I need some snow and ice boys. Centurion chained? Yes. In 43-inch? Uh, yes. Overpowered winch. I'll take that. Uh, let's see. PT... Five, there we go. PT 35. Snorkel duel and explore tray. Oh, I love the maintenance body. The maintenance body is so sick. The ZIKZ has ticket tires. Yes, I know. Or lol. Yeah, I, I've been hearing that. Let's see. Um. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Um, let's see. Ticket tires, lol. Yeah, I need to check that out. Can you look over the new upgrades for the old ZIKZ? I will as soon as we find it out here. We just need to locate it first. Um, so I'm gonna do the, mm, I might actually do the maintenance body. I might actually do the maintenance body, because that looks so good. Dude, this thing looks so good, and it drives great, too, with the 8-speed. Oh, it drives so good. Wait! We forgot a crucial component. Beans! I love how they put him on top of the CB. Oh my god, beans on top of the CB looks so good! Oh man, looks so good. Okay. Now, let's let you chill right there. Let's also go back into the garage real quick. And I need to grab the IX Quad Steer one more time. Aren't there some, like, separate... Okay, no, never mind. I was like, aren't there, um, some different, uh... Ooh, ooh, taking that... Taking that. Oh, God. That doesn't work. I'll use these. Oh, she wheels, too. 
Okay. Now, I'm about to have the ultimate hauling setup. Or at least the ultimate exploration. Tyler, what's going on, man? And Morgan, what's up? See you out there in the chat. All right, afternoon. This guy is going to go onto the back of the quad steer, and I'm going to use it for exploration purposes. At least I'm going to try to put it on the back. It's fast in the forward gears, just not in reverse, which is fine. Doesn't need to be fast in reverse. Okay, now, can I position the quad steer in such a way that it'll let it drive on? I might be able to. Let me realign myself. We may just about have our ultimate exploration set up. with the parking brake on. I don't know if this will work. What's up, Luke and Bradley? I see you guys out there. Let's see. Did you get stuck yet? Not yet. Colton Hagen, what's going on? Oh, she doesn't want to. No. It can't hook on. What if I... Well, nah, I won't pop it up. Ah, we'll have to do this at a different time. Okay, so I now, I now need to find that ZIKZ. That ZIKZ is priority number one. Twin mill in reverse, that thing could recover from overcurrent drift pretty quick, right? Finding that ZIKZ is priority number one right now. So, let's see. Now, we've got a bunch of stuff out there. This, it's interesting. So all of those watch points are like in a direct line with each other. Ooh, rear mount crane. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Do, do, do. IX crane. Crane reverse. Maintenance unit in the back. Saddle low. Wait. Towing boom. Towing boom. Oh, I see. So actually, <laughs> this is genius. Hey, welcome back, Luke. Great to see you out here. This is a genius idea, I think. I hope, actually. <laughs> Wait. Ah! Brain mode. That Unimog is too heavy. It won't pull it up. Dude, that thing's a heavy boy. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. That, that's not happy about that. That is a heavy boy. Okay, now, not that. Maybe this will work. Nope. Yeah, nope, okay. Well, at the very least, we can recover lost cargo. All right, off we go. 
Off we go. We're not going to worry about that guy right now. Let's see. Put the big crane on the back and use it to load the mog on the back of the quad steer. I could do that, but, like, I don't know. Is it really, like, is it worth putting the unimog on the back? Is it is it worth putting the unimog on the back? I don't know if it is or not. I mean, I guess it is, right? I guess it is. Let's see. But then I don't want to take the crane off. Okay, yeah, no. I'm just going to leave it as a... I'm just going to leave it as a cargo crane for now. All right, we are off to go ahead and knock out those watch points and find the ZIKZ. Just grab the truck with the heavy crane, you idiot. Actually, that ain't a bad idea. That that ain't a bad idea. Oh, I've got the perfect solution. All right, Jack Stan, we will see when you get back, buddy. I've got the perfect solution. I'm just going to use another truck. So I'm going to put this guy right here. And then... We're going to get the handy-dandy Azov. And then all we're going to do is buy one and then just resell it because it'll work really well that way. Truck store. do 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 Where is the heavy-duty Azov? Oh. It's like, oh, you don't have enough rank for this. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> all right. We'll use this Azov then. All right. Frame add-ons. Heavy crane. Leave garage. Now. <laughs> Banana be like, duh. Yeah, okay. Get you. Recover. Back out. Alright, let's set ourselves up for success here. See, I guess he's in the bottom right corner um, of the map directly south of the garage. Bottom right. Wait. Bottom right corner. It's here? No. No, up here? How could it be up there? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, I suppose if it is there, I'm not like, I'm not saying like you're lying or anything, but I'm like, that doesn't make sense for it to be there. Like if it's there, I'll go look for it. But like, that's just weird. Oh really, Jake? That's amazing. Come on. Come on. Okay. Stop. Now. Crane mode. Anchor. And then. All right. Are we capable of lifting this thing? Actually. It's got a top hoist just for that. Yo, it won't lift it. It won't lift this thing! It's too... Oh, 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 oh! Maybe? It's, like, legit too heavy. Come on! It will not lift it. I'm holding down... The lift button. I am hold. Wait, DJ Gaming says, "Oh, it can do it," and I'm like, "It can't though." Like, rotator? I don't have the rotator on. All right. I've had it with that thing. Ah! Cockpit view not. It just told me, cockpit view not available underwater. I'm sorry. What? Underwater? I what water? Let's see. Katina Thompson, what's going on out there? I see ya. Forklift question mark. That'd be a good uh, good choice for it. I gotta go find that ZIKZ though. Yeah, we gotta find that ZIKZ. Now, that one guy said it was behind the garage, but like, I don't, or like just south of the garage. Wait. So north, south, down right uh like up here wait a minute well trying to look for a silhouette but i don't see one you know what i'm saying i'm trying to find a silhouette but i don't see one. Oh god yeah right rogue tsunami comes in out of nowhere 
How much horsepower does the BRZ have? Ah, uh, just like BRZs from the factory really ha only have only like 205 horsepower. It's like, because the updated intake manifold, everybody freaked out because they were like, oh, the updated intake manifold gives an extra five horsepower. And I'm like, big deal, I guess. Like, I mean, it's nice. It flows better, but man, it makes the mid range a little better, but not by like a ton. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, Tori Kelly, it's, Brooks side by side is wild. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go on an adventure here, boys. It might get a little icy dicey, but that's okay. The truck is on an island by the river. It's on an island down by the river, I'll tell you what. Things are already getting icy dicey, I'll tell you that. But it's all good for us. Ain't that right, Beans? Are you going to do the jump today? I uh, potentially. What mods are on console, Tomcat? Um, I'm going to show the console mod updated list in just a moment, okay? Let's see. Open map, white arrow is north. Okay. Easy, easy. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, if the white arrow is north, then it would be on the island south of the... Wait. We're talking about that island? Because then that would be south. That would be south of the garage. Someone said bottom. Wait. They mean this crap? Oh, God. Whoa. Well, uh, I don't know about that, but we'll see. All right. Oh, thank you, Matthew Roland. I appreciate that. Now. With that also being said, if you guys are curious as to what new console mods just dropped, your list as of today has the Twice Twin Steer getting updated, Aspen Hills as a new map, Dearborn Roswell Off-Road, Truck Max Pack, and Meteor Region, Weather Station 34, and Kaizen World Roamer. That is going to be your updated look at console mods as of today. So let's lead the charge across the... Wait a minute. Did I turn that? Okay, yeah. Um, I wanted to make sure I disabled the console mod screen. Maximum America! But thank you once again, Matthew. I really appreciate that. We're about to lead the charge back across the ice. Yee yeet. You have to do the Stargazer task to unlock the ZIKZ. Interesting! I need to find that one. I need to get more um, watch points unlocked then. And that actually, that lake right there, or that's out there anyway, will lead me to uh, a bunch of watch points. So we can go ahead and knock that out. Uh, and yes, Lando, Phase 4 is included with the Season Pass. By the way, guys, we just ballooned through 550 likes on the stream. Thank you all so freaking much. That is amazing, you guys. All right, we are on our freaking way, boys. Let's see, KRS Bandit would do great on this map. Heck yeah, it would. The Bandit would, like, love it out here. Especially a modified Bandit. Oh, man, that'd be even more nuts. All right. Uh, I want to head straight for that lake. Which means, yee yee. Back up and forward. There we go. And back at a high. All right, we're good. Once again, this is diesel addict style exploration. And diesel attic style driving at the moment. Oh, come on. I need some lockers and some yeetage. Back it up. Gonna float once again. Fit between the trees. No, you don't. Oh, God. Offline winches for the win. A tree grabbed me. Yo, it was still holding on to me. I think it grabbed my wheel. Let's see. It's not like a weatherman when you tell us about the new mods. Hey, what can I say? What can I say? Let's see. Wait, what? Hold on. What? Hmm. Oh, I don't know about that, Sage. We will have to see. All right. Off we go. About to get to that lake. Once we get to the lake, we can get out to the island. Grand Hero is crazy. Oh, yeah. Grand Hero is wild, dude. It's a really fun rig, though. It's a really fun rig to play around with. Really, really fun. Keith, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for stopping by. And this is that 542, uh, 5254. Almost said 5452. Sorry. Didn't mean to get that wrong. But 
welcome back, my dudes. Okay. All right. So we're going to actually have a pathway up ahead that will lead us to the... By the way, this trailer has just been chilling here. Like, literally just sitting. Raider, what's up? Todd, what's up, dude? I love all these tracks that have been just made by my quad steer just plowing, plowing through it. Mobile Command Z unit truck there. Oh, that'd be so freaking cool. I love that Mobile Command unit. It's like, it's so crazy that he integrated that feature into a non-trailer, uh, like, way. Easy does it. I can fit. Maybe. And if I fits, I sits. Yeah, I fits. Whoa. This is like the clearest water ever. What is up with this water? Don't hook. What's up out there, my dude? This is the clearest water ever. Or rather, like, it's so blue. It's so crisp. Oh my god, this is like one of the most unique obstacles I've ever seen. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, wow. So cool, dude. Let's see. And Luke, if you're having issues with that, make sure you refresh the stream, okay? Oh, it's funky, all right. Hey, we found the train track. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. There's a watch point out there. That's going to reveal a lot. That's going to reveal a ton. Let's see. Have it, Japan. What's going on out there? I see ya. That water's freaking weird. Yeah, no, it is. For dang sure, it's weird. Let's see. Any more adventure trails coming? Actually, I do have a lot more um, adventure videos coming on the channel very soon. You guys are going to really enjoy some of the roleplay videos I have along the way. Definitely stay tuned for those across the course of this weekend, for sure. Some West... He keeps saying West George Mud Park. Uh, what? That, you mean West Georgia Mud Park? Um, West Georgia Mud Park may be making a return soon as well. Why are you running without snorkels, LOL? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. I, I didn't even think about that. I probably need to go ahead and handle that, though. All right, let's knock out this watchtower. I love the RP vids. Bro, I love doing them. Stargazer unlocked. All right, picturesque unlocked. Look at this. Whoa, look at that railway bridge. That's going to be cool to drive across in literally anything that fits. I'm in a bad area with low cell service. Oh, that makes complete sense as to why. Yeah, a little bit more cold brew. Ah, cold brew time is always good time. Stargazer. What is this green? Whoa. It looks like a western star down there, but I bet it isn't. I bet it isn't. Let's see. Also, Kevin, um... So, uh, some news on, so he said to bring back Forza. So some news on that will be getting revealed at the beginning of next week. Make sure you don't miss that, that news slash uh, channel update because it's going to be a big one. All right, let's make our way down to Stargazer. I am so pumped for this. Let me get onto the road. I think we'll have better luck there. Well, it's not even a road. It's like just a marked track. You know what I mean? Let's see. Oh my god, Gearblight. That is a that is a horrible dad joke. I love it. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Fifth gear, let's go. Come on, go, 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 go. Almost there. Let's see. Is this town called Hobo? It literally called Unlucky Lineman. Ooh, that's a bypass back there that we need to take. Go get it, TC. Oh, we're getting it. We're about to freaking get it. Like the name of this town, I, unless it's like the name of a company, but like, I, 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 I guess. Let's see. Technically, if you think about it, anything is a road. Hey, anything is a road when you're in the freaking IX quad steer. It's a beast. By the way, we are closing in on 600 likes on the stream. Thank you guys so much. I genuinely appreciate it. Oh, it's going really well, Chase Reeves. How about yours? Hope you guys are having an awesome week. Got a little ice field to cross. <gasps> there she is. There's my baby. There's the beast. Throw it in high. Oh, rampage it. Rampage it! 
Oh, Rampage it! We're gonna make it! Come on! Uh, we don't know when that's coming uh, at the moment. Uh, YM, let's see, YTMD Mud. We don't know when that's coming just yet, but it's definitely gonna be on its way. Yo, is that? Oh my god. I think it's like, is that, is that crap like, is that radioactive waste down there? Hold on. Back to the ZIKZ in a moment. Is that crap radioactive waste? I'm gonna drive into it. <laughs> now Beans is gonna grow like a second tail or something. That ZIKZ though. Well guys, if you were wondering about the location of the new ZIKZ 605R, it is right here on Cosmodrome. Let's zoom out so you guys can see. And you're right, it is basically a straight shot south of the garage. Right here, and it is the Stargazer Task. So, I am assuming that in order to unlock it, we need to actually get the uh, Stargazer Task done. And, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and start that in just a moment. So then we can knock this out. You think today? What's up, bud? I see you saying hi out there in the chat. Alright. Accept, start tracking. Repair the 605R. I didn't bring any repair supplies, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tow the beast back to the garage and repair it there. We're gonna make, we're gonna, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make this even more difficult on ourselves. That's what we're gonna do. You know why? Because, well, I was gonna say because I like challenge, but you know what? This may, this may be like past challenge. This is just, this is just being a lunatic at this point. Oh god, it drives! I didn't realize it drove. It's pushing me! Jeez. It's pushing me. Oh my god. Uh, let's see, can't touch this nine. I'm, I'm gonna show the console mod list again. Oh god. Oh no! Oh, I, I caused diff damage. Does it? It might. Uh, Refuel, but it doesn't have repairs. Yeah. Actually, it doesn't have either right now. I'm sure it would if I had some of the other... Uh, is there... Wait. Is there is Cosmodrome Garage? Well, yes. Uh, I don't know why he worded it that way. But we're going to make it a little bit di more difficult for ourselves. Hey, Herbie's out there in the chat. But yeah, we're going to make it a little bit more difficult by towing this all the way back. And hey, little route to the trees. Somehow it's running under its own power, even though it doesn't have any fuel, which is odd. It's, I feel like it shouldn't be doing that, but it is. Let's see. Ooh. Once again, guys, uh, for those of you asking to see... Um, yep, Puppy Master, that is correct. But yeah, for those of you asking to see the updated console mods list, um, I've been showing it a lot across the stream today, but um, I will show it again once this task is complete, okay? Okay. Oh, thank you, KTRB. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. Yeah, somehow it's driving, even though it's out of fuel. That might just be PTS things, but... Man, it's fast. It's keeping up with me. All right. Uh, What is the best way to get back to the garage? Make a left right here. Well, I say right here. Uh, Actually, we might be able to do that. We might be able to do this. Let's see. I'm back. Just rage quit track mania. Oh, I've wait. I've, I've rage quit that game so many times. That game is a rager. 100%, bro. That game is a rage monster. I will pull the ZIKZ through here. Why? Because I am a mad lunatic. No, it spent too long near the green snow. That's fair. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It is completely and totally 100% fine. Herbie Racer with that one. No, 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 Super Chat ATC. Uh, sorry I'm late, but I'm with my dad. No worries, man. I got your message earlier. It's all good. It is all good. And once again, thank you so much for supporting the channel with that $2 Super Chat. I really appreciate it, bro. All right, this should be the right way to go. Hauling that ZIKZ 605R like a beast. Recovery costs eight thousand dollars. Yeah, I probably would if we were in hard uh, hard mode. Wait for the aliens to pop out. Yeah, I know, right? I wish it, like I wish they would. What's up, Logan Ballish? I do remember you, man. 
Welcome back. I'm throwing you in high. Oh my god. It works. It works. Whoa. Oh my god, it works. Holy moly. We are hauling that thing in high with the quad steer. We got the quad steer and a, a 605R. Those are the most OP, like the two most OP trucks right now. We got the most OP mod and the most OP vanilla truck in the same run at the same time. I don't have Phase 4 on PS4. It's not on uh, PS4 yet. Um, it's only on PC on the public test server at the moment. I think it's a beast. Oh, heck yeah it is, Mean Bean. Heck yeah it is. Did we get that watchtower? Yes, we did. Throw it back in high. Boy, roll through that torque. I know, right? Uh, Milan, I, I did see some stuff about that. It's really crazy. Well, what the heck? The likes just went back to 500. Oh, YouTube being glitchy again. YouTube being glitchy again. Let's see if we can blow through 550 a second time. Because it did that earlier, and then it just did it again. That's so weird. I don't know why it, it's doing that, but uh, YouTube be on some weird stuff lately. It'd be on some weird stuff for sure. Yo, we got another rescue task right there. Uh-oh. Our path is blocked. Boy, I tell you, our path is a bit blocked. Come on. Come on. I wanted to go backwards. What's the task? Tree fall, that's a new one. Doesn't change the fact we gotta get past them. Show task details. Cement times two. Huh. Drive over it. Wouldn't be the hardest thing in the world to do. Eh, we'll go around it. Hey, look, I found a rock bridge. This rock bridge would be a good one, I'll tell you that. Let's do something really dumb and get away with it. Ha! We just did something really dumb and got away with it. Look at this crap! What? Whoa, okay. We're, we should not be allowed to get away with that. Boy! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, apparently, Zachary, apparently. Not around it, over it. Ah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We did something just as unfair. It's fine. It's fine. Hey. Couldn't turn far enough in time. It's okay. We just bounced right off of it. It's fine. That's weird, Nick. Not dumb if it works. Hey. He's got a point there. He's got a freaking point. All right. We should be heading the right way now. Let's check once again. Yes, we are on our way to the garage. Or the garage. Depending on where in the world you're from. Like, depending on where in the world you're from, it's either garage or garage. Which do you prefer? Alton the Gamer, what's up out there in the chat, man? I see you saying hi. What's been going on? How was your week, man? How was everybody's week? Everyone knows Twister's best truck. Hey! Like, IX Quad Steer is best truck. For sure, bud. For freaking sure. Things a yeet, boy. Rescuing that ZIKZ 605R like it's ow! Nobody's business. That hurt, Mr. ZIKZ. If you would refrain from doing that, that would be lovely. Happy Fox Avengers, what's up, my dude? Been really good, actually, Alton. Thank you for asking, man. Let's see. Uh, I got you, Empower. I got you. All right. Making our way. We're good. All we got to do is make our way around the rock slide, and we'll be A-OK. -okay, but, I mean, we know that it's, like, not a uh, not a hard rock slide to get around. You know, it's... I meant base game trucks. Oh, OK. But still, like, still. What have you missed today? Oh, God. Some insanity and some lunacy. That's for sure. Hey, you know, of course I remember you, Tango YT. Of course, man. Sender. 
Whoa, I had some weird lag right there for a second. The game was like, the game was like, I'm going to suddenly get very laggy on you for no apparent reason at all. Some of that cold brew stream hydration. Getting her done. Let's see. Oh no, Gary. Holy cow. I hope you're I hope you're doing okay. Easy and Hello there. Welcome back to the garage, boy. Well then. Stop engine. Let's see what our Unipog can do for said uh, ZIKZ605R. Full send it. Oh, it's it's time for that, by the way. Let's see. Um, that lag is odd. It just randomly happened. Like it just, and it never does. Why? What's good? I see you saying hi. All right, let's see. Repair target 605R. Suspension, gearbox. Oh wait, I should have just done all. There we go. Okay. Now it needs fuel. Refuel. Uh, let's see. 605R. Ah, uh, we'll just do that out of the um the quad steer because it's got so much freaking fuel. Yeah, refuel. Target. Oh. It's got to be done from a fuel tank. It can't be from another truck. That's annoying. All right. I... You, you force, you force my hand here. Hold on. Yeah, I was gonna say, you force my hand here. Let me bring you the fuel. Griffin Sage, once again, dropping that $5 super chat. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. Hold on. Source. Wads. Wait. Oh. IX fuel tank 605R. Done. All right. Stargazer. Now that's one beast of a truck. Something tells me the previous owners aren't looking for it anymore, so we might as well put it to good use. Rewards 605R. Stop engine. Change. Well, boys, we got ourselves a ZIKZ 605R. Oh my god. That stiff suspension in the garage made me laugh. Yeah. That truck is heck, dude, heckin' long. Let's see. I'll be right back. All right, Luke, we'll see when you get back, buddy. Sometimes I get lost in the for six hours, and sometimes I flip and turn the game off after two minutes. Bro, I get that, Empower. Like, I totally understand, though. All right. Those are both in Tamir, so we'll find those, like, what we'll do is we'll probably just transfer a save or something. Um, let's see. Single tire. And we'll do the twin motor heavy. We'll do the double snorkels. Saddle high. Heavy crane, sideboard bed, trunk repair supplies, and sideboard bed would be a really good setup for it right now. Outrolled, I like. And we'll do searchlight. Oh, the searchlight. The classic searchlight. I love the searchlight on this thing. We'll do, like, the secondary twin horns as well as eh, the cabin air conditioner it doesn't really need. Um, let's see. What about the... Oh, uh, what happened to the freaking... There we go. Okay, and bumpers, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, these got textured. Hey, those are cool. I like the light cage. The light cage looks sick. No interior customization yet, but hey, she's a beast of a rig. Beautiful unit. Truck reminds me of Mudrunner. Bro, I played for like seven hours on launch day. Bro, same, same, Diesel, same. God, that suspension, though. That freaking suspension, though. What happened to my sideboard bed? I might have found a glitch. Why can't I? Oh! I see. I got you. So I can't run the, the repair supplies and the sideboard bed at the same time. That's a little annoying, but yeah, that's. I just realized that. That's a little annoying, but it's okay. Let's see. Gary, uh, Gary claims... Phase 4 is coming out 28th of April. I haven't seen that as an official confirmation, though. So, like, and when the devs confirm something, they always 
push it in the discord and there's no new announcements about that in the discord so the devs haven't announced that yet and honestly it's like like if the devs haven't announced it yet then i personally don't you know if the date hasn't been confirmed i don't you know i don't follow it i don't i don't trust it until the devs confirm it so Hey, what's up, Griffin? Thank you so much for stopping by, dude. We just grabbed our brand new ZIKZ 605R, and we're actually going to use it for some uh, proper objective-based gameplay. Yeah, unfortunately, the spare obstru obstructs the other uh, sideboard. By the way, though, dude, this thing is a ripper. Even with the base engine, doesn't care about snow. It does not care about snow. Look at this. All-wheel drive, always on. Diff lock, always on. Doesn't even care. Doesn't even care. Full on mud runner mode, man. Eats everything in its way. And I know it doesn't have textures yet, but bro, what a driving experience. What an abs. Wait, let's see. Try to see how OP the Tega is. Well, uh, the Tega isn't that bad. And somebody told me this thing had Tega tires. It doesn't. I sub, thank you so much, Jiren. I really appreciate that. Always on. Oh, it's indeed always on. I just searched it up on Google. I don't think so. That's probably just a, hold on. We're gonna actually do this real quick. We're gonna see if that's a, uh, let's see. Let's see. Release date. Yeah, uh, Google definitely doesn't show that. Yeah, I mean, Google once again, definitely does not show that. Um, and it doesn't say it's coming on April 28th. I don't know where you got that date from, but it's, uh, what if the take is OP here like Empower said? I don't know. I know Saber, they will nerf the truck when it's going to be released. Ah, we'll see. Hopefully not. All right, details. Metal beams times one. We could get there. Yeah. We could get there. I think. My IX8 slot. Oh, yeah. My IX8 slot is still out there. So even even the devs got tired of the Tega tires. Ah, the small ZIKZ has Tega tires now. Ah, gotcha. Okay. I think I, I bought one and then I sold it. But I can rebuy it. So let me see. All the way down there. Hmm. Best way to get there. I know the best way to get there. It's sketchy. But it's a good way. I was going to say, it's sketchy, but it'll freaking work. Now, once again, that date of April 28th is still, um, it's still speculation. I mean, yeah, Christian, of course I have the map. I just haven't been on it in a minute, but I still have it for sure. It's one of my favorites. That's like 10 contracts worth in hard mode. Yeah, I know, right? It's not slow, man. For a vanilla truck, it's pretty quick. And this is a this is base engine. You could just drive until you started doing like super heavy duty hauls. You could drive it with the base engine, and it wouldn't matter. It really wouldn't matter. Let me check in on this one more time. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be worth taking the sketchy route, I think. Now I know I took this in the quad steer, and I don't know if this thing can do it, but uh. I'm gonna try it because I'm a blithering moron and I uh, I always take these trucks to greater uh, greater extremes than they should be taken. But hey, it's just the diesel attic method. It works. High is slow. Like High is like the equivalent of freaking second or third. Truck is looking beast. Oh, it is. Absolutely. Just following in the, tw um, the IX quad steers. Uh, let's see. Oh, God. Would now be a bad time to say I never liked that truck in Mudrunner? Oh, good God. But I will say it's following in the IX quad steer's footsteps pretty dang well, or rather tire tracks than footsteps, but still. A lot of people max out their trucks, but this kind of shows you don't need to. It kind of does, honestly. Like, kind of shows the absolute, like, just raw potential of these machines. It's starting to get a little bogged. Just a little bogged. I don't know why. It's starting to get just a little iffy right now. Let's see. TC, I will tell you this. Uh, tell you this now. The rocket trailer, you'll have to have fun with it. Oh, dude, Dylan. I've pulled it before, like, in um, in testing grounds. I've pulled it. It's nuts. 
It's now starting to get a little unhappy with me, and I'm not sure why. It will be able to haul that one unit of metal beams, though. Now, let's see if we take this route, which does also have tire tracks. Maybe that'll help us. It had to have been caught on a tree branch or something. It wants us to travel. I don't know why. It's given us a, a, a locator to travel back. All right, Petty for the three. We will see you whenever you get back, buddy. Oh, very nice, Double J. Very nice. We're absolutely still rolling, my dude. Still rolling out. All right, let's see. Put it back in automatic because we don't need to be in low to keep the diff lockers on. This thing can do it no matter what. Like, literally, it can do it no matter what. After family, what's new? I just joined. Well, I remember seeing it, seeing you in here earlier, but I guess you backed out and came back in. Um, we found the uh, ZIKZ 605R, and it is a monster of a beast. Absolutely a monster of a freaking beast. And look at this. Look at the way it rolls through the ice. Like it doesn't even care, bro. Not even remotely bothered. In fourth freaking gear. In absolute fourth freaking gear. It's so good. I... Dude, you'll never have to be scared of ice. Ever again. What's up, Colby? I see you out there. But yeah, you'll never have to be scared of ice in this thing. Ever again. You'll literally never have to be scared of ice. It, it, it's, it just works. It works so well. So well. On my way to pick up that metal beam. Or rather one unit of metal beams. It's like just a pack of them. But it works. Small ZI can do the new take tires, new add-ons. Uh, yeah, in a little while we're gonna go into testing grounds mode and try that, but I just wanna load up the beams first. Just kinda so we have a nice place to leave off with this thing. It did not like it when I, uh, touched the, uh, touched the other trailer. It was like, yeah, we're not a fan of that, my good sir. We are not a fan. Pretty much, uh, Livonia, pretty much. Continuing to follow in the footsteps of the quad steer, and man, I'll tell you what, it's doing a pretty dang good job of it for a default truck. God, it rips. It sounds so good, too. Like, it really does sound amazing. Absolutely does sound amazing. Put it back in first. I mean, this mud is going to kind of hold it up a little bit. Yeah, snowy, muddy mix. The snow and mud mixes really do get to these trucks. These trucks do not like it. Frontal winch point. Pull it over there. Maybe it'll do better if I pull it out of the ruts. Truck go burr. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty freaking much. It's so heavy that it, like, it breaks everything instantly. Like, any winch point that's even remotely weak, oh yeah, it's gonna shear it right off. Absolutely gonna just shear it right the heck off. But once again, it's able to do the quad steers route so far. Bro, it climbs these trees hilariously. A little bit of a tight squeeze, but it's all good. Squeezy boy right through and then she's good to go. Let's see. Uh, first time joining today. What's curious? Uh, what's new? Curious on regarding mods. Uh, so console mods. As far as what's new today, we've got the Dearborn Roswell Off Road. We got the Kaizen World Roamer. We got Weather Station Thirty Four Meteor Region Trucks Max Pack has been updated. Aspen Hills uh, is here, and Twice Twin Steer has been updated. So that's gonna be your brand new list of console mods as of today, available on all console platforms. Let's see. Oh, don't hook. Oh, that's sick. Let's see if she makes it through here. Yo, it can just drive right through the sketchy ice lake. Oh my god. It just drives right through. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Out of my way. ZIKZ 605R coming through. Jeez. Oliver, what's going on? I see ya. I see you out there. What is the truck's max pack? It's basically like a pack of tweaked trucks with like giant tires and a bunch of crazy stuff. Blake Kyle, so update coming soon on that. There may or may not be something re-entering the stream schedule next week. Stay tuned for that. Snorter Shad truck flags, that'd be pretty cool. God, look at this monster go. 
I just, it's so crazy for me to think that this, this crap is van like a vanilla truck doing all of this freaking madness. Absolute madness. It can just drive through the radioactive lake. Oh, why not? Yeah, why not? It's fine. Send Monster Max as a scout, bro. Monster Max would be wild out here. Smash right into the ice on the other side. And then it just keeps going. Puts itself right back in first gear, and off we go. Axel, what's going on? I see ya. I hear the cracking of the ice. Oh, yeah. Why is it so realistic? Ah, I mean, it's... It's something. I don't know if it's... I mean, well, it's actually pretty realistic, I bet you. Because after all, it is a vanilla truck, you know? This one hasn't been modded or tweaked at all. Oh, that's awesome, Fernando. Thank you so much. And remember, we do have another video coming at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time later today as well that you guys are definitely going to want to check out because it's a little bit of an odd video, but it's a really fun one, and it's really interesting. So you all should definitely give it, a, give it a look if you're interested. And plus, if you have any questions or anything like that, and if you leave those questions in the comment section of the 5 p.m. video, um, I will, of course, be in the comments of that video uh, to be there to answer them for you all. So let's see. I'm just going to continue my... Uh, my strategy of sending it everywhere and I mean the shortest distance between uh, two points is a straight line right so send it we're going full send here my dudes once again Blake Kyle stay tuned for an update about that coming next week all right let's see uh do you know why none of the R&R &R vehicles have snow tires honestly not really I mean I'm not sure why they decided not to include those and I'm sure they could add them or something like that in a future update Although I do agree, it kind of makes them a little sketchy to use on some of the snowy, icy maps. So that would be a nice update. Don Hook, what's up? And uh, what are some of my favorite games? Um, well, honestly, like, outside of SnowRunner, I mean, like, when I'm just playing games by myself and just chilling out, I actually, it's funny, I play a lot of Forza 7, you know? Like, just because I like to, um, I honestly like to kind of build in-game versions of my real-life cars and then kind of build, you know, representations of what I would like to see them do in the future. Let's see. Oh, that's... Uh, yeah, no worries, Blake. Yeah, I'll, like I said, we'll have an update about that coming once again next week. All right, so we got metal back here. Town storage. And then after that, we're going to check out the new... Um, the new updates regarding the small ZIKZ. Is he disappointed with the console port probe? Why? Why, no? Oh, God, that's like half in a building. I feel like that locator is a little bit messed up. What is that? Picturesque. Huh. Oh, that's one of those like photo spot tasks. I remember those. Renamed the Pog Racer as opposed to the Pod Racer. Yep, yeah, right. This is Pod Racing. Mm. All right, about to get to the town storage, about to get this thing loaded up for the first time in campaign. Wayne Taylor with that 199 Super Chat. How many trucks and maps are coming in phase four? So you've got four new maps in a brand new region. And let's see, get that truck loaded up. You also have, um, at the very least, two brand new trucks, as well as a bunch of, um, a bunch of paint job add-ons for existing trucks. So this guy's loaded up now. And now I'm gonna pull it just a little bit forward on ahead to make sure it saves. And we are all good to go. We also have another rescue task right up there. So I'm going to shut this guy down. Now it's good to go. That's going to be chilling, waiting for us when we come back next time. Now we're going to go to the main menu, and then we're going to go into the testing grounds to check out some of the new features for the other ZIKZ, uh, which is the small one, the existing one. So mod browser, nice voice crack there, bro. I, uh, I love that. All right, so select map. Summer testing grounds, my dude. Let's see. Canned ham. Yeah, right? We have the Unipog. Why not the Pog Racer? Well, Pog didn't make it. So I can understand why. I can understand why I wouldn't have just called it that. So this is the small ZIKZ now. Don't you love how quickly the testing grounds loads up when you when you're not when you don't have like a hundred mods running at once? It's wild. All right, so this guy, let's fully build this one. This is actually the one with a new engine as well. S plus, and then we've got a uh, fine-tuned gearbox, lifted suspension, and 
We'll be drawing that uh, a little bit later on, Empower. Um, maybe not on this stream, but we'll definitely be doing something specialized for that. Hey, take it, tires. Advanced medium, spare wheel, twin snorkels. Yo. Yo. You could even... Oh, you could haul logs with this little thing. You could haul logs with this little thing if you wanted to. Is it bad that I find that very cute? Like, I'm like, the fact that you can haul logs with this thing, it's like the cutest little log hauler. Like, what the heck? Oh, that's awesome. Just throw beans on the dash. And we'll do autumn leaf. And then we'll do... Uh, oh, I don't know. Let's see here. Stickers. Ooh, here we go. Wild. And shut up and take my winch. Exterior stickers. Warning, harsh driver. Warning, harsh driver. And then, uh, let's see. What do we have in here? Um, let's see. Um, hmm. There we go. Winged mechanic. I'll take that. Check out the paint on the tank and the big 8 by 8 has off. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. All right. Windshield stickers. Let's see. The fire one looks kind of kind of iffy. I don't know. Whoa! Whoa! Speed personified. Look at all these new hood ornaments. Sabertooth, Striking Cobra, Speed personified, Mammoth. Oh my god. Ranch. Look at all these. That's awesome that's so sick dude that's amazing i haven't even tried those new trials yet yo you guys want to see me fall over many many times that's how you do it let's see fuel carrier or sorry log carrier rear boop not backwards you idiot forwards oh my god it's so fast with this new engine it's so fast uh, thanks, Wyatt. I appreciate that. Long logs? This tiny little thing can haul long logs? I don't know if this is a great idea or a horrible idea. What do you think, Beans? He thinks it's fine. He thinks it's just fine. Come on. Oh, God. Sort of walking around on me there. Jeez, this is too fast. I wonder how fast it is with the highway box and this max engine. This is silly. Like, this is genuinely, like, silly fast, you guys. Silly fast. Dude, I want to try one of those new, um... One of those new trials. That would be, like, ridiculous. KTRB, horrible idea. I know, right? Don't you love it? Ha! <laughs> This is so freaking fast. Ah, this is like, like tweaked mod truck fast. It rolls coal like a tweaked truck too. This is vanilla stuff. Oh my God. This is vanilla stuff. What the heck? Oliver Murphy, what's up out there, my dude? I see you saying hi. We're going to the testing, testing grounds. You'll see why it's so much fun. Oh, trust me. I am well aware. Skirt. Oh my God. Big old skirty boy. Come on, let's go. Or not. Oi! Oh, you got a rock stuck under your axle. Stop whining about rocks and let's go! Momentum time. Come on. And stop digging. We should have just stayed on the road and not cut the corner. We cut the corner and that was like our biggest problem. That was the whole reason. What's up, Benjamin Peterson? How are you doing out there in the chat? Thank you so much for stopping by. Next game, Sandrunner. We can only hope. Very possibly, Optum Family. Make sure you get your cars ready. 100%. Make sure you get your cars ready, bud. Yeah, now that we didn't like bypass the corner, we're fine. Thing is too fast, bro. Let's not dump the trailer. Let's not dump the trailer. Here she goes. All right, Beans. You ready? Where's eighth gear? There it is. Whoa! Oh, my God. That was the most dramatic free.
freaking like vanilla truck bridge jump I have ever freaking experienced. Oh my god. Wow. All right. That's uh That's a thing of a bob for sure. Holy moly, boys. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous, man. Holy smokes. So, there is also something I would like to show you guys. There's some new liveries. One is on an Azov, and the other one is on a Z-I-K Yeet. Yeah, pretty much. Small truck go boink. Yeah, that too. Um, Where is, not the Azov Antarctic, but... It's not this Azov, it's not this Azov, it's not this... No, I think it's this Azov with the new uh, design. So I'll put that right there. And then the other one with the new design is the freaking... Um, oh god, what's the turtle thing? You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. Not the Voron. The TUZ Actia... No, Tatrin. That's it. Alright, TUZ Tatrin. So I'm gonna go in the Azov... I'm gonna get out of free cam, I'm gonna fire it up, and I'm gonna show you guys the new designs that these things have, because they're pretty freaking cool. And now, TZ, Beans needs an ambulance! Alright, let me get that TZ Tatran's engine on. Because I believe these both have new designs, or new colors, new designs, new wraps, whatever you want to call them. Bro, we're about to blow through 550 likes on the stream for a second time today, because, yeah, YouTube did some weird stuff. Press for TC's truck. Yeah, pretty much. Please and thank you. Not a terrible horn. I kind of wish I had a better one, but it's not bad. You know what I mean? It's not the worst horn in the world. All right. Hey, what's up, buddy? All right, so this guy, I believe, has a new paint job. Nope, it's not this guy, actually. Huh. It's not this guy, then. Interesting. Then I don't know which one it is. If it's not this guy, it's definitely... It's it's one of these, but I don't know which one it is. Well, I know the Tatran has one. T-U-Z got a new color. I, I know, but which T-U-Z? Well, this one, obviously. But there's another 8x8 that got a new color as well. But wait a minute. They took it out. Uh, they took it out. I've seen it, but they took it out. Why'd they take it out? Uh-oh. I've seen the new uh, the new design for it, but the new skins were out on the last version of the PTS. They were out, but now they're not again. They've removed them. Let's see. Are they in create mode or in garage mode, like dev garage mode? Preset 31, 30, 29, 28, 27. No, they, they removed them. I'm not sure why. Let's see. Um... Must yeah, I don't know what happened to him, but I, like I've seen them. They must have been in a previous P T PTS version, but not in this one. But with all that being said and done, guys, thank you so much for coming out of the stream today. Normally on Fridays we stream for like two to two and a half hours. Today we blew through the three hour mark. Like I had an absolute blast, and I really sincerely hope that you had as much fun watching as I did streaming for you guys today. Thank you all so much for letting me hang out with you guys once again. I always have a blast, and thank you so much for all your support on the streams, and whether you guys have been watching, chatting, super chatting, or just, like, just purely hanging out. Like, I, I absolutely love spending this time with you guys and hanging out with you guys. So, once again, with all that being said, thank you all so much for being out here, and thank you as well to the moderator team. The moderator team is awesome. We got Diesel Addict, Puppy Master, we got Herbie, we got, like, every last one of the moderators has always done an incredible job, and I want to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you guys as well for making this stream what it is and making this channel what it is. Couldn't have done it without you guys, and I hope you all have an incredible weekend, and also, I'll see you back on the channel at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a brand new video, and I will, of course, be in the comment section below to to answer any questions that you guys may have. But that's going to do it for this stream. Thank you all for coming out, and I will see you guys next time.